Pokemon Crystal Clear. If you have no idea what this game is, as we go through the intro, I am going to uh, talk about it. So first thing we're going to do is we have to select our starting region. This is a ROM hack for Pokemon Crystal by Shock Slayer and a whole bunch of other people. And it's super dope. Open world Gen 2 with a whole bunch of new mechanics and, and, and different stuff going on. Actually, not really new mechanics, but more like just new places you can go, things to explore, Pokemon to find, all that cool stuff. You can start in any of the towns that you want. I have decided that for uh, entertainment purposes, I think Cerulean City is going to be the best place. So we're going to go ahead and start here. And we can also uh, make a character, which is pretty sick. Thankfully, I already look a lot like... Um, the default guy, so I'm going to be choosing him. But, uh, there are actually a bunch of different models that you can select between. Uh, shit. I forgot how to do it. I think it's this. There you go. You can play as the boy, the girl. You can play as red from, uh, Gen 1. You can play as leaf. Uh, or I think that's maybe green. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not huge on Pokemon mythos, so I'm probably gonna get some stuff wrong. Or green. It says it in the bottom left. Is green. You can play as blue. Uh, you can play as Yellow, who I think is from the manga. You can play as Silver. You can play as Lena, who I think was like an unused character sprite or something like that. Uh, you can also play as a male or female Rocket Grunt, which is pretty cool, uh, too. But as we make our character here, I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about what Crystal Clear is that I haven't covered already. Um, so... The biggest things of Crystal Clear is that all 251 Pokemon are available, which is really sick. There's a bunch of new music, there's a bunch of, like, altered content to make more sense within the confines of an open world Gen 2. All of the gym leaders are scaled uh, for the amount of badges you have. The overworld trainers are also scaled, but to a lesser degree. The wild data, though, is not scaled, and the reason for that is uh, you would be able to find, like, level 5 super power powerful Pokemon that you could catch really easily. Um, and it would also take up a whole bunch of space because this is able to be played on physical hardware if you're able to use a flash card or some other thing. I'm not really big into that stuff, but we'll go ahead. We'll have a, we'll have a blue. I love blue. It's one of my favorite colors. So, um, let's see. I don't really need to edit it much more than that, but, uh, let's get rolling here. Uh, even though there's a lot of text in this game, I am not going to sit here and, like, read it like maybe you see some, uh, some Let's Plays do. Um, but I will scroll through it so that if you would like to, uh, read it yourself, you can. Um, let's go ahead and choose the Master Ball because I am a Pokemon Master. I'm also gonna change, uh, a different color here. I'm gonna go to green. So, uh, let's get going here. We got the Poke Gear color. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do a purple Poke Gear. That sounds fun. We can change all this stuff later if we want to. And now, for the most important part, selecting the starter. I am going to choose Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur was the first starter I ever chose, and I'm a nostalgia whore. So we're gonna go ahead and catch our boy Bulbasaur here, and I've already got a great name picked out for him. It was the name uh, that I gave him when I was much younger. But you have 30 different starters to choose from. Uh, I'll probably post a picture on screen just because it's super cool. But you can also inject your own uh, trainer sprite. So if you're good at pixel art or sprite art, sprite art, sorry, you can make your own uh, trainer if you so wish. Um, you can inject your own starter Pokemon, any of the 251 that are available. Uh, what time is it right now? Uh, it's not gonna matter in a second, but I might as well be a little bit accurate to, uh, my time at the moment. Uh, cause I'm gonna be resetting the clock a bit for stuff. Today is Tuesday. But, uh, let's get going here, and I'm gonna be talking a little bit over, um, the intro here. So, uh, like I said, this is Open World Gen 2. We are literally able to go anywhere we want at any time. And one of the coolest things about Crystal Clear is that there are a bunch of little secrets hidden around the, uh, the map. And, like, so much stuff you can do and so many cool things. There are a lot of Easter eggs in this game, and I'm just super duper pumped. So, all hail the Year of Shadow. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> But, uh, it's super duper cool, and I'm very excited for this. What's up, Delcano? What's up, Matios? What's up, Mayonnaise? Welcome to the stream. So, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the sub-goals, because, um, this was a sub-incentive sub for the 24-hour streams. I'm going to keep, uh, the sub-goals right here going for the entirety of Crystal Clear. However, for Crystal Clear, we have our own, um, 
We have our own little sub things that you can do uh, if you want to partake or maybe have one of your favorite Pokemon uh, in our save here. So if you sub yourself or gift one sub, you can pick the Pokemon that follows us, follows us because all 251 Pokemon have unique sprites in this hack and are able to follow you, kind of like Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Silver. If you gift a total of three subs, you are able to name a Pokemon. I will go catch it and name it for you. If you gift 10 subs total while we're playing, you are able to name the Pokemon and put it on the team. If you are, let's see, what else? Uh, if you gift 50 subs, I will hunt a shiny Pokemon for you to name and put on the team. And if you gift 100 subs over the course of our playthrough of Crystal Clear here, I will... Um, there are six slots of custom palettes that you can make for a certain evolution... or for any evolutionary line of Pokemon. And because there are only six, I, uh... I thought I wanted to make it like that for people who want to support like crazy, and of course all the subs will count toward those sub goals as well. Uh, for when we continue after Pokemon Crystal Clear. So let's go ahead and save the game for soft resetting. This is a nice quality of life thing. If you don't know about Generation 2 mechanics, so if you're familiar with Pokemon, you know there are hidden values called IVs and lesser hidden values called uh, EVs um, that kind of help determine the growth of your Pokemon. In Gen 2, they were IVs were called DVs. Instead of 0 to 31, there were 0 to 15. Um, and the special stat was all one stat, um, because Gen 1 and Gen 2, I believe, still use the same special DV, but in Gen 2, they were split between special attack and special defense. And then there's another thing called stat EXP. What's different between stat EXP and EVs is that stat EXP, you literally just get it. Like, there's no, there's no specializing your Pokemon, it's as you defeat Pokemon, you get stronger, and it can make the Pokemon... Uh, ridiculous. I know it split the special stat, x Rocks. What I'm saying is that, um... What I'm saying is that, uh... Like, the DVs up there, uh, the one on the very right is our special. Also, you can see the DVs of the Pokémon on the nickname screen, which is really nice. Um... But, uh... I'm trying to think. Yeah, but, like, actually, in-game, they're split. Also, let's go subscribe. Just kidding. That's, uh, that's not what I named, uh, Bulbasaur when I was six years old. I'm gonna name him Bulby. Bulby the Bulbasaur. Name her Bulby, actually. Just running with what we have. You can, uh, see my party, uh, Pokemon that are in my party on the left side, and the amount of badges that we have, because we are going to be trying to collect all 16 badges here. Let's do this. What's up, Google Cheese? How you doing? There are a couple settings I want to change real quick here. Um, text speed, I'm gonna change to fast, I think. You can do instant text, but for people who want to read stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do fast just so I don't skip through stuff. Uh, you can have, you know, battle animations on and off, switch on and off. Um, I'm gonna turn this to no, which is set. Uh, always run. There are the running shoes in this game, and it's faster than using the bike, so I'm gonna be doing that. We're gonna keep the same frame. Encounter uh, fancy, nurse quick. This skips the text when we go to a Pokemon Center. Uh, this isn't important right now. And Turbo A, all it is is when I hold the A button, it's just gonna do A presses like that. Pretty cool. Last flown, I'm also gonna switch to save. Now, this isn't going to be like a, if you don't know anything about Pokemon Crystal Clear, you are, you know, in the clear and I'm gonna explain everything. I'm gonna explain what I can and if people ask questions, I'm gonna try to answer them. But, uh, we gotta get moving. Hey, Chaos, I'm glad you got something to sleep to, man. All right, so for the music, you can choose between a whole bunch of different music tracks, and there are a bunch of 8-bit renditions of other Pokemon music. But what I'm going to do to keep things fresh is that if I press the select button on everything, it's going to randomize the music that we're going to hear throughout uh, uh, most of the game. I'm also going to turn the HP warning off because it's annoying. Whoops, I didn't mean to reset it. Whoopsie. So back through, randomize, randomize. The select button is our... Oh, I keep pressing that button. I keep thinking it's uh, to go back to the previous screen. Hold on. There we go. Saved it. All right, so now uh, town themes and route themes are not random, but uh, pretty much every other piece of music in the game is random. And there's our Bulbasaur following us around. Uh, I'm so excited. Have a hundo in Pokemon Go? Let's go, dude. 
Um, all right, let's get started with our adventure here. Adventure here starting in Cerulean City. So my main goal of this is to catch all 251 Pokemon and hopefully try to do it in a uh, fun way. Was a lot of talk for a sleeper game. Have you even played it, Chaos? <laughs> Have you even played it? Come on, man. Give it a chance. And if you don't care, then leave. Yo, what's up, 21 Zeros? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. All right, so I started in Cerulean City uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, we actually start our journey with five Pokeballs. And uh, I'm going to be do doing something a little cheeky in the beginning here. So our Bulbasaur, uh, and we can check out check our DVs and a whole bunch of different stats on the stat screen now. Uh, we got a 15 in special, which is great, because if you never played Generation 1, Generation 2, or Generation 3, uh, physical and special was determined by the type of the move, not the move itself. So uh, we got 15 special, and that's good. Unfortunately, our Bulbasaur is not going to be very good at attacking stuff if we do that. It has perfect special, so the gift Pokemon you get in this game, which includes your starter Pokemon, um, has an automatic, uh, or has a four times greater rate than a shiny Pokemon. So, uh, the chance to get better DVs or get a shiny Pokemon is four times better, which I just, uh, did. It is a shame. It's been, it has been a while, dude. I hope you've been doing good. I heard you've been grinding on stuff. What's up, Gamera? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. Got a scan dash. We're not scan dashing right now. Well, this is a terrible matchup. But uh, because we have no badges, literally all of the trainers in the world are like super duper um, easy. <laughs> so uh, what I did up here is I went above Cerulean City and the Nugget Bridge has turned into the Nugget Brigade. Um, and there's something that I want. As you get by beating the Nugget Brigade, so it's the first thing we're gonna do. Basically, what I'm gonna be spending this whole stream doing is setting it things up so that if people are to uh, be generous enough to gift subs to name a Pokemon, I am able to easily get around the entire map and uh, get the Pokemon that they want. Pikmin. I don't think this is Pikmin. What's up, Channel of Sonic? How you doing? It's awesome that you're playing it today. I'm not just playing it today. Our goal is to catch all 251 Pokemon. The gift a sub if Sonic appears on the screen right now. Hmm. Well, I don't have a, uh... I don't have a Sonic thing, but... All 251. Okay, watch, actually. Alright, so we can use Petal Dance. So, all of the, um... All of the starter Pokemon, again, it's not just the six starters, like the three Kanto and the three Johto starters. There are a bunch of different Pokemon you can choose from. They all have, like, special move sets and stuff. And a really cool thing about this game is that you don't need badges to use HMs. You can just use the HMs when you find them. And different Pokemon uh, can come, like, if you get a different gift Pokemon, they can come with different HM moves that you can use immediately. You can also find the HMs throughout the map. Um, but you can acquire all of, like, so I guess it's kind of weird. I'll use, um, I think I can use Surf as an example, is you can find Surf. Wow, this thing is actually kind of hard and we might die. Um, <laughs> this isn't good. Hopefully we get a critical hit or something here. I'm actually kind of scared. No! Oh, let's go. <laughs> Rip, we're going to have to run back and heal. <laughs> for sure. Thankfully, we can do that. I posted a tweet about, uh, boss progress. I did not see it, but I'm excited to look at it. Uh, definitely when we get more into Crystal Clear, I'll be able to, like, sort of meander and stuff. See, they fixed the AI. Well, the thing is, is that Crystal Clear isn't meant to be, like, a challenge hack or fundamentally change things about Gen 2. I also don't know if I mentioned it, but... Crystal Clear is meant to take place one year after the events of Gold, Silver, and Crystal. You're the Sonic God? Ugh, yuck. Sonic God, my ass. Here's also a demonstration of the quick nurse. We don't get any tech, she just heals our Pokemon and we get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Gold, Silver, and Crystal are fantastic, yeah. So good. What's up, GJ? How you doing? 
<laughs> I'm not familiar. What's up, Philip? How you doing, man? We have Philip to thank for this, because Philip's the one who showed me Pokemon Crystal Clear, which is super dope. Do what's up, Burnin? Nice to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. He does need the boost, it's true. Ah, oh, man, it's such a shame that our Bulbasaur, thankfully, all of the Pokemon we're facing, I'm pretty sure it's every single Pokemon in the game, other than a few battles, are, um, they have zero DVs. So we're always going to be at an advantage. Oh, jeez. What is going on in chat right now? <laughs> Last story in 2025? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Civil War, it, it seems like it. Yeah, but I'll definitely want to check it out. Just Channel of Sonic being Channel of Sonic, god. Um, also, when it comes to doing this, obviously I'm playing this on the uh, BGB emulator. I also should have talked about this like way earlier. But if you're interested in playing Crystal Clear yourself, you can do exclamation mark CC in the chat if you're live with me. Or if you go into the description of this video, I'm going to have a link on uh, where that information is, which is on shockslayer.com. The IRL Shadow Bike. I literally know nothing. People are saying it's the year of shadow. What, what is going on with that? I have not heard such a thing about that. Oh, also, another smaller thing to talk about with uh, Crystal Clear here is that um, some gender ratios, I, a lot of Pokemon that have like a one, a one to seven gender ratio between male and female have been changed to a one in one specifically for Crystal Clear. And it's so you can have female shiny Pokemon because uh, shininess in Gen 2 was actually determined by the DVs of the Pokemon. I believe it has to have um, I think HP, the HP DV, can be any number between 1 and 15. Attack has to be odd, and then the other three DVs have to be 10 in order to do that. So the max, actually, I think HP is between 0 and 8. It's something like that. I'm sure someone in chat knows. Um, or you could just, you know, look it up. <laughs> Gen 2 shininess online if you'd like. Um, why was I going to say that? I don't remember. I It's heavily weighed in the favor of the male. I'm pretty sure so you can't easily breed them. Also because I would say, I mean, I, I wouldn't say like now, but maybe when Pokemon was made, you know, their, uh, their fan base was mostly men. All you really need is a ditto, and thankfully it's really easy to get a ditto here. I'm actually gonna learn Vine Whip. Even though Pedal Dance is great, it does lock me in. I don't really see any need for Safeguard. I don't think the Bulbasaur line can learn Safeguard normally, or with uh, another thing that we have, but just having the ability to not lock myself into Pedal Dance would be really nice. Men, you're right. I mean, 10 year olds? 10 year olds are men. What do you mean? Also, one thing I love about the older generation games, I think you can do this up until Gen 4, is being able to change your move order within battle. It's so nice, and I miss it so much. Um, anyway, so that tangent I went on, the original point I was trying to make is with emulator speed up. I know a lot of people, when they play Pokemon games, use emulator speed up, especially when they do challenge runs. I don't particularly think that's incredibly exciting to watch, and it's more fun to watch everything kind of play out. So for the main campaign and not like the end game grind, uh, because there is like an end game grind sort of thing that I would like to do because I haven't done it before. I've done a lot of the content in this game, but not all of it. And I might use speed up for that. And I will also probably use speed up when hunting for shiny Pokemon, just so we're able to get a move on with life. Um, and there is a way to get shiny Pokemon easier as well, as well as uh, max uh, DV Pokemon too. Uh, there's a Pokey Radar type thing you can get. 
Uh, I'm gonna go heal one more time. I'm worried. But yeah, I forgot to talk about it. You can do the running shoes. So this is your normal walking speed in this game, and this is with the running shoes. It's faster than the bike, which is really nice. So we don't have to use the bike for our follower. At least 100 shadow motorcycles? What is this about a mo motorcycle? <laughs> she used her mermaid magic to turn us into men. <laughs> Sega's making a, a motorcycle? I know nothing. They made shadow motorcycles? That is incredible. Yo, what's up, Rando Logic? You started this one recently? Let's go, dude. I'm so excited for it. Thank you for your contribution <laughs> to uh, to get it on stream. So there, there's this whole like year of shadow thing. They they declared it. This is the year of shadow. I think because our DV in attack is so bad, I'm actually gonna use Vine Whip here. Even though it's not very effective, because I think it'll do more damage. Like the Euro Luigi, just but for Shadow, that makes sense. It's the Year of Shadow for me, because we have movable Chaos Boost in PO6 now. Which is what matters the most to me. But yeah, feel free, chat if you have any questions. Uh, people who are watching the YouTube VOD, if you have any questions in the comments, let me know. Hey, what's up, Cosmic? How you doing, man? This guy's a speedrunner for Crystal Clear, and he is super dope. He has an entire, like, 100% uh, speedrun of this game, and it's so sick, and I've watched it and learned a lot from that. What is this game? I've never seen it, says the guy that showed me <laughs> the game in the first place. I get your first job ever? Let's go, dude. It's exciting. You watched it? I've watched it over and over again, so that way I could learn a lot. Because the thing is, is like, I really enjoyed my first playthrough of this game, and then I kind of have been trying to do research. <laughs> because I do want to show off some of the secrets, but not all of the secrets in this game. Um, because there's so much, like, there's literally stuff in this game that you're not e you're not even, like, meant to find. Shock just put it in there for the fuck of it. It's such a cool run. It's super cool. And I'm actually gonna be using some of what I learned from it in order to, uh... In order to make it easier for me to catch Pokemon for people who, uh, meet that subscription goal. Started learning how to drive now? Let's go, dude. Huge. Oh my goodness. One trip through the Nugget Brigade and we are... We are already pretty powerful. Now, I know that we do have two more fights after this. I might heal after this fight. See what's going on. Also, how do you guys like the layout? I hope it looks good. I really like it. Because I hate when people play Pokemon games. Sometimes they just make the screen really small for no reason. <laughs> it's like, nah, we gotta see those big pixels. Also, shout out for um, what's on the left side uh, right now. So you can see my party Pokemon. You can see Bulby in the top left there. And then you can see my badges or where my badges will be down below. That's thanks to the SGB border. What are gadgets for? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, Cam should be larger. You know, that's true. It should be. Yeah, it says badges. You probably can't see. If you're watching on mobile, you probably can't read that. Oh, Rhyhorn? Uh-oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, see you, Rhyhorn. I don't know if I've seen Gen 2's Vine Whip animation, and it's been a very long time. Uh-oh, Charmander. Going to Rhyhorny Jail, what's he horny about? Surely he whips, he must. Or she. It's a she. I keep forgetting Bulby's a girl because I'm so used to getting male uh, starters. 
He's only level three. Yeah, he's only level three, and I'm using what's pedal dance like 120 power. <laughs> Little bit extreme. All right, so I didn't want to complete this just to receive the nuggets so we can get some extra money. Is if we be very careful here and walk around this ledge, we can actually get behind Bill's house. And there's some grass down there, but there's no stairs or any way to get to it. In Pokemon Crystal Clear, there are some secret ledges that you can jump up and down. Well, some of them are two-way. This one in particular is one-way. Now, this place has normal encounters. Also, there's something I need to do with the Pokédex that I forgot to do. Lagging because Mold Switch, I'll be lurking. I appreciate the lurk, Cosmic. Now, you can find regular encounters here. I think this is, what, Route 21 or something like that? I don't remember. But if we click on this... Get an encounter first. Hello, Caterpie. Goodbye, Caterpie. If we click on this specific tile... Oh my god, it's Pika Blue! Yeah, so a lot of the, like, playground rumors that, uh, were going around with Generation 2 at the time they actually put in the game, and this is our first introduction to nickname palettes. If Pokemon have certain DVs, and, um, you name them, like, a certain evolutionary line, a thing, uh, they can be a different color. Also, this is considered a secret encounter, there are a couple of them throughout the game, and, uh, with secret encounters, you can just throw a Pokeball and it's gonna catch it 100%. Oh, uh, okay. I've never used, uh, Petal Dance in Gen 1, 2, or 3, so that makes sense. And here's what's going to be, I guess, our second team member for right now. Uh, Pika Blue. The reason I wanted to catch Pika Blue is not only is it a second team member, and there was also a little animation. Uh, when you see that little animation that says it's radiating, or I think it's like radiating a powerful aura or something, that means that it has 15 in every... Excuse me, it has 15 in every DV. But yeah. The best part about Pika Blue is that it comes with Surf and Flash. Um, so now, even though we haven't found the TMs, we are able to use it right away, which is really nice. And why I wanted to grab Pika Blue. It's a water type? It is not water type. It is still electric type. Nickname palettes do not affect the typing of the Pokemon. But yeah, he's waving at you. It's cute. You know what? We'll even, uh, we'll even have Pika Blue follow us for a little bit. Here. He's so blue. <laughs> Everything's blue. Ooh, also, I want to uh, show this, because this is probably my favorite piece of dialogue in the game. I love this so much, so here we go. Make an awesome combination. Slow, bro. Use confusion. <laughs> you get jump on the roof from confusion. Although, I guess I am confused. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so funny. All right, let's head into the bike shop because even though we can use the running shoes to go faster than the bike, it's still good to get the bicycle. Um, because, like how I said that, um, like, you can use HMs whenever you want, there are a couple tools you can get in this game that use HM or TM moves. When you use the bike, here, I'll go ahead and show this off real quick. Uh, if we use the bicycle, got on the bike, we get a helmet. And I actually think this is a terrible example because I don't think there are any trees that we can do it on this route. Uh, we are actually able to use headbutt um, on trees, which is cool. We're riding the bike and we look pretty snazzy too. Uh, but I'm going to get off so that way we can have uh, Peekaboo follow us here. There's also two other key items there. I'm going to talk about them when they're more relevant. Um, but another thing, yo, what's up, Deimos? How you doing, man? Uh, like I talked about before, there is, uh, there are no, or I didn't talk about this before, but as part of the open world nature of Pokemon Crystal Clear, all of the story barriers are, like, gone. So we can go anywhere, the Magnet Train, right now, because this is set a year after, uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, where, uh, Gold, I guess, got the, um, also... 
We can honk the train horn, which is pretty great. Use headbutt. I should. Is it really crystal clear? It kind of is. So now we're in Goldenrod City, which is great in uh, <laughs> in Johto. Uh, so I hope you're keeping up with this. Um, we're going to do a couple of things in Goldenrod. I would actually consider Goldenrod to be the best place to start because you can literally walk in here and grab the free Eevee if you want from Bill. You don't have to meet him in Ekertik or anything. Um, I'm not going to do that because if somebody wants Eevee, uh, I'll collect it uh, with that. But I'm not really looking to make a team just yet because I imagine uh, we're going to get some subs that's going to make some of my team for me. So... A couple things I want to do here is head into the underground and grab the coin case. Because the coin case is still in the same spot. I think we have to fight this guy, though. Subs like Twitch? Mm-hmm. You can see the sub goals in the bottom of the layout, or you can do exclamation mark subs. From work? That's true. You started yesterday, didn't you, Vote? I hope uh, you've been enjoying it. Played Cuphead? I've never played Cuphead. Cuphead is definitely a game that is way too hard for my simple brain. Yo, let's go, Bulby with the tackle. That's three attack DV. Let's go. Yeah, I guess what Pokemon could be like Glizdorf? I don't even know. Super Nerd Eric. Could have said Super Nerd Philip, but you know, whatever. Wow, that dude's a spinner and he's scary. Alright, there's the coin case. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, well, <laughs> we're fighting this guy. Be him? Be him is kind of Glizdorf, but we don't have be him in this game. Generation 1 and 2, that's it. What I really love about this is that this is a very focused ROM hack. Like, Shock Slayer, he started development on this in 2017. And it's simply, like, an expansion of Crystal. It's not, like... It's not meant to inject a whole bunch of things or make the experience entirely different. It sort of takes 10 Gen 2's mechanics and kind of shuffles things around into a super fun and refreshing experience. At least I think. This is like my third playthrough of this game. And, uh, yeah. Maybe you're too good at harder games. Maybe you are. Miss Sonic already? Jesus Christ, people. There are other games in the world. What's up, Arreus? How you doing? What's up, Lima Green? Welcome to the stream. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna walk up and talk to this guy. Excuse me, kid. Can you do a guy a favor? Yeah, I'll take your Kenya. Uh, I don't need a soft reset. Excuse me for Kenya, I don't care. Too much? All right, so I'm actually gonna do this side quest real quick because uh, if you talk to him after you give the guy the mail, uh, not only do you get to keep Kenya, but you get a nice little reward for it. So Kenya has fly. You can get fly for free, and you can travel to any of the towns. You do not have to visit most of the places. There's one little square uh, to our upright right there that we're going to have to visit, and we also have to visit the Indigo Plateau and Mount Silver as well. Uh, we cannot fly there, but now we can literally fly to any city we want. It's so cool. Personally, yo, what's up, Blunt Blows? How you doing? Don't worry, we'll play Sonic eventually. Oh my goodness, <laughs> walking is hard. Okay, so uh, since we're in Violet City, um, why did I want to be in Violet City? Oh, I'm giving the guy the mail. Politoed? Politoed is kind of Glizznorn. Let's go ahead and give this guy a thing. Huh? What's that? You have mail for me? There you go, bud. Subs from the 20 streams count? No, it's during Crystal Clear. 
So this guy's talking about a new mechanic that you can do if you go inside Dark Cave, but there's another easier way to get it. So we're gonna do it. But all the subs from the 24 hour stream still count toward the sub goal. No, dude, what? You're telling me that I can't just sub to you once and then constantly get benefits for the rest of my life? No, man. Gotta make that cash. It'd also be, like, impossible for me to track who's given how much. Other than Cookie. Uh, because Cookie did give 50 subs, and I promised them that they would, uh, I would hunt a shiny for them. So, uh, we just got five PP maxes, I want to say. There is no such thing as a PP up in this game. Go wild, chat. Um, they only have PP maxes, which is really nice. We're also gonna be able to get a lot of these later. Um, I don't actually need this water stone, so I might as well just sell it. Bonzo Cam, uh, would be amazing. Bonzo Cam would be amazing. Unfortunately, Bonzo just doesn't spend his time in this room, so... It wouldn't really be worth it. Also, department store is great. Uh, the more badges you collect on the TM corner, the more, uh... The more TMs you can buy. You can buy uh, every TM in the game, if you so wish. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to go down to the uh, basement floor here of the Goldenrod Department Store, because there's something I want to pick up right here, I believe. Yep. Amulet coin. Let's go. Get more money. Um, and if we go down here, this is where we can actually change our uh, our character, if we so desire. So, uh, this is my- this is my plea. If there's anybody out there who's good at sprite art and wants to make a sprite template for a Stelmo sprite, even though I already look a lot, uh, like our boy Gold here, um... I'm down for it. Let me know. Sprite? Sprites are- are what, like, art is called in, um, in Generation 2. Or, not in Generation 2, but in, like, most 2D games. And some early 3D games. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, where did I want to go? There was a place I wanted to head to. Um, oh, okay. Before we fly anywhere, there is one thing I want to do, and I want to talk about the Pokédex. An art style you want? Just, like, the same as the gold. As, uh, as gold, but probably with, like, glasses and maybe a different hoodie or something like that. All right, so uh, this is kind of called the Piggy Dex. Uh, so the mascot for Crystal Clear, and I would imagine Shock Slayer's favorite Pokemon, I don't know if it actually is, but it's kind of, sort of the mascot for this ROM hack is Swinub. Uh, so this is called the Piggy Dex, and it's basically our resource for uh, this entire game. We can look up moves for any Pokemon. We can look up where Pokemon are. We can look up info of our Pokemon. Like we can look at Bulby here, and it tells you literally everything um like we can see there that the gender ratio is one to one uh right now we got base stats we can compare our, our base stats against other pokemon and one of the things i am going to do is i am going to where is it at uh dex does not require scene data i'm gonna switch to enable this will allow us if we go to the area tab to see what pokemon are in the current area and that's going to make it really easy for when I can find stuff. And it's Generation 2, so it's not like there's really spoilers for, like, uh... How old is Gen 2? Like, 30-something years? So... Alright. Next thing I want to do is I want to go catch a Pokemon. Yo, what's up, Nefiston? The main games always lack. Crystal Clear's got a lot of, uh... Nice. Yo, GJ! Thank you for gifting a sub to Arrayus, my man. Arrayus, enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it, and thank you so much for supporting the stream. And GJ, who uh, of our party would you like to follow us right now? Since you gifted that sub. Make you a sprite later? Oh, thanks. Um, Let me go ahead real quickly. Let me link you the sprite injection website because that's the template that you have to use. Um, the Pokemon game only allows you to use four colors, I believe. 
and you have to use the exact white and the exact black that are on the template or else you won't be able to inject it. I am not a uh, doctor, Stomo. Uh, what is my favorite soda? Probably Dr. Pepper. I'm drinking a Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar right now, not sponsored. Let's see. Uh, let me look this up real quick. Oh, God. Documentation. I think it's... Uh... I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> no, that's wrong. This is it, I think. Yeah, so if you go to this, Lima. Color limits a lot of consoles? Well, thanks, man. I really appreciate it if you want to make a... Dr. Pepper is the shit. I love Dr. Pepper. All right, let's continue on here. What's this? This is the this is the uh, place where you inject the sprite into the ROM, and uh, it has the sample template on it, so you can just download the sample template and just edit that. Uh, so that way, like nothing gets messed up and stuff, and a custom sprite would literally just be. It's just a modified version of gold anyway, because I already look so much like him. Yo, nice. Awesome, Bedrooks. You don't play Pokemon? That's fine. DJ, did you say uh, which of our party you want to follow us? All right, now that we have Fly, I'm going to go ahead and fly on over to Mahogany Town. And the reason I am going to fly, it really is. It's super cool. I'm also going to take this mail. Uh, because Gen 2 is very weird with mail and boxes and shit, so just getting rid of it is nice. Um, alright. In here, there's a lot of swine up, and there's this girl who will take any Pokemon for a swine up. Which is why I wanted to catch this snubble. Uh, because this swine up is going to be very important for us. It's going to be one of my HM friends. Even though it's not really HM, but... No, it's only the first 251 Pokemon. The only ones that anyone cares about. Trigger a fan base in one sentence. <laughs> so no, no Mammoth Swine. Also, as I talked about before with, like, the Slowbro thing, too, I think this game is really funny. And, uh, we're gonna see some of that here as well. After we finish this trade. Wow, thanks! I've always wanted... Snubble! <laughs> so the reason I wanted this Swinub in particular is because this Swinub is holding a Smoke Ball. If you don't know what that is, the Smoke Ball... Oh, also, I forgot our uh, starter starts with the Miracle Seed, which is nice. So our Grass-type attacks are doing extra damage. If your lead uh, party member is holding the Smoke Ball, you are uh, able to run from any wild encounter regardless of level. So, like I said, the wild data doesn't scale, so we could definitely be entering places that are way too high level for us. Uh, but I can just run away from any encounter, so it doesn't matter. Mahog D's oh, got me. No, I have not seen anything. I'll go ahead and look at it now, just so I can comment on it. Oh, damn, he's, uh, he's showing the whole thing. This is like a two-minute video. I'll go ahead and show this on stream, then. All right, let's, uh, let's see what Chaos has been cooking up. Er, Iblis. Nice intro. Love the uh, particle effects here. Oh, 
control, the boss flashes. I like that. I like the classics. Dude, he's not using the psychic knife, man. That'll do extra damage. You can also see uh, Silver's new psychokinesis aura here as well. We talked about before. Reaction time! Who knows, maybe. Dude, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Oh! Oh! Classic reaction video. Wait, did he just heal himself? Oh my god, if this fucking heals himself, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna hate this shit. Okay, there's an indication of where the, uh... Of where the, uh, he lands the box. Is it gonna happen again? It does. Okay, that's good. Is that it? Oh no, we got a little more, I think. <laughs> Come on, Iblis, do something. There it is. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it it looks really good. I've got I've got nothing to say. <laughs> but it is really cool and I'm excited to play it. All right. Back to Crystal Clear. Nothing to say? I mean, I I like I could criticize it if you want, but I don't want to. I just think it's cool. Sometimes I just think things you do are cool and it's cool. Oh my god, Chaos, that's so amazing. You made the boss flash white, ah. Oh. And you added particles, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I mean, it it is it is consistent with the quality of rest of P with the rest of PO6 so far and it's great. Okay, what was I gonna do? I lost focus. All right, so now we have the swine up and we have the smoke ball so we can kind of go wherever we Oh my God, why is it playing again? What's going on? No, Iblis, go away. Why, why, why? Stop it. Okay. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, honestly. All right, uh, cool thing here. When you're in a city that normally has the move deleter or name raider or those kinds of things, you could actually go into this building and you get teleported to the modification station. The modification station has the name raider. The move deleter, who's this guy? Uh, these two guys are if you transfer your Pokemon to like Stadium 2 or want to uh, put this on your... Because I think you can still put this on your 3DS and then transfer them up via Pokemon Bank, like it has that connectivity uh, with that. Um, and then this lady is the move reminder, which is really cool. So yeah. Also, um, if you guys want, uh, where where is GJ? Have I just kept missing their message like a dunce? Have they said what Pokemon they want to follow us? Let me, let me see if I can find it real quick. Arrayus can decide which Pokemon, okay. Arrayus, of the Pokemon we have, pick one. Modification Station Alkazam, he does work very hard. Bahog is not the mascot, but like Swinub. Blue dude? That's who's already following us. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I am in Blackthorn City for a reason. I remember. I'm totally... Like, I had a- I had my route, my beginning route kind of planned out for- for this. Um... Oh, also, another thing that I want to mention is that some, uh, some of the landscape has been changed to encourage more open-world stuff, so normally you have to go through the ice path to get between Monog Mahogany and, uh, Blackthorn, but, uh, you can just walk past the ice path if you want, it's completely optional. Like most of the things. I forgot to mention that we only need eight badges to fight the Pokemon League, even though we're able to collect all 16. 
All right, so I imagine we're going to be running into a lot of Pokemon here, but we do have that smoke ball, so we're able to run away really quickly. And I think this is going to be a good time to showcase the option here to have quick encounters. Um, so quick encounters are very nice, especially when you can't get uh, repels just yet. Where is it? Encounter fast. Sorry, not quick encounters, but fast encounters. It's going to skip the fade-in animation and the runaway text, so it makes things a little bit less cumbersome. Is the stream still four hours? Are we back to normal stream times? I mean, I normally stream for four hours, so I guess yes. Uh, Bulby's our only actual team member right now, so we're gonna keep using him. Uh, there is a reason I'm in the ice path. There is actually something else I should have done first before coming in here. Um, but I'll just do it after. There showcases the quick encounter, there was no fade in, there was barely any text, and we were able to run away real quickly. One of the best quality of life things ever is that, uh, if you press the B button when you're on the menu, it automatically highlights run. Which is super dope. And because we have that smoke ball, we can run away from anything. Which is very nice. In a... A very cool thing about Crystal Clear, like I said, how there's a bunch of secrets and Easter eggs like Pika Blue. Most of the dungeons in this game have like hidden items everywhere. So we can go collect the item finder from Ekertik, whatever we want, but I would literally be pressing it like every other step and finding something. So uh, maybe not. Um, What do I want to do? I think I just want to go up this way. We'll collect this item. Unfortunately, we do have limited bag space because this is Generation 2, and there is no change for that. I don't think it's possible, from what I understand. You stream for nearly six hours. What I usually like to say is that I, I don't guarantee, but I like to stream for about four hours, but I don't limit myself. Like, if I want to keep streaming, then I will. Like, if I'm not busy later that evening. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to switch to 3 p.m. start times. Oh, let's get a hydrate. So the reason I wanted to come in here was to get Waterfall. Uh, because again, we don't have any badge requirements for our... HMs, so... I can just, uh, slap Waterfall on a Pokemon. There's also another HM we can get here in Blackthorn City, but I am definitely going to... go do, uh, the other thing that I want to do first. Yo, Aniv, what are you saying, bro? I like four hours. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty good. Like, it's not too long of a time, but, like, if we're doing something crazy, you know, like playing the final boss release or something like that, I'll absolutely want to... Oh, oh, I'll throw up in here, buddy. <laughs> he just came in and just put his head down. Can you guys see him? Oh. 24 hours of end of the world that would be kind of crazy okay so this is a little side quest um like i said how swine up is the mascot there are four of these swine ups swine ups in different dungeons that uh we need to find because it's really good confirmed by chaos really no, it's all right, Philip. I appreciate you being here, dude. Even though it's like super duper late for you. All right, we are out of the ice path. So, where we're gonna head to next is we're gonna go to Kanto. We're not going to fly to Pewter City. I didn't mean to do that. We are going to fly to Mount Moon. Mount Moon is the single most important location in this game, and it's for a very cool reason. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and do it this way because I need to come into Mount Moon here, and I'm going to talk to the second pig we need to talk to. A yellow swine up. Lemon. Stop making them. So I needed to talk to that swine up specifically. I don't actually know where this swine up is when, uh... When he's not right here. <laughs> so, oh well. Uh, what this dude is introducing to us is footprints. Uh, footprints are really cool. They make some of the rarer encounters because the wild data has been shifted around um, in order to make every single Pokemon um, 
Oh, I forgot to change this. To make every single Pokemon, like, available and stuff. And I haven't talked about chaining or anything yet, but we will eventually. Um, there should be, like, a little footprint indicator against Pokemon that we can find via footprints. But, uh, essentially, footprints just make rarer Pokemon more common, especially if you use it in combination with the, uh, Dex Tracker. Alright, so normally what you're supposed to do is if you go through this Mount Moon Square, you can also talk to that guy, I believe his name was Tito. Or her name was Tito. Um, and we can do a fight if we want. We don't need the smoke ball to run away from him, but I'm not just, uh... Doing that. I'll fight this Saiyan Shrew just because I know it's one hit. Might as well get some more EXP. Really close to Ivysaur. Now, <laughs> Bulbasaur is my... probably my favorite Pokemon. I like Venusaur and Ivysaur too, but I kind of wish I could just use Bulbasaur the whole time, and maybe I could. Uh, given how Crystal Clear is designed, but... We're gonna- we're gonna let him evolve. Or her evolve. I forgot how long of a trek this is. <laughs> Gotta catch something to keep on his team? Well, someone has to gift 10 subs, that way I can have another team member. That's currently just full of HM friends right now. Okay, so... This is a very, very, very important place. So, the guy that we uh, talked to um, at the beginning, his name was Tito, and he's an ace trainer. Uh, there are a couple ace trainers that I believe are, like, bug testers, or people just helped who helped with the development of Crystal Clear. And this is their headquarters, ace uh, trainer HQ. We don't need that right now. What we need is this house right here. Cause we're gonna talk to this guy, Grizz. Oh, hey, howdy. <laughs> I stop calling it my science lair. Online tutor databases for both Kanto and Johto. You were wondering if you see that was... You use a bug tester? I'll give you access to something I've been working on. Using this, you can exploit the hidden potential of your Pokemon. We just unlocked the Battle Tutor. What the Battle Tutor does is it allows us to teach our Pokemon a bunch of non-canon moves to make them more viable. And it basically makes, like, really bad Pokemon super more, like, way more viable by giving them better moves. And, uh, very useful stuff as well that we're gonna be seeing in just a second here. No, I don't wanna fight you. You can, uh, all of, like, the, the... The people like Grizz and Tito, like I said, they all have optional fights, and they are scaled, so it's not too dangerous right now, but... Let's check out the Battle Tutor. The reason I want Swinub is Swinub can learn Dig. Whoops, that's the wrong move. We can learn Dig. We can also learn Sweet Scent, which will have more uses later. It is incredibly cool. Sense. Farfetch does get Aeroblast. A lot of uh, a lot of flying Pokemon do get Aeroblast because there's not really any good flying moves in this game. I think that's all we can teach via this. Uh, Swinub's gonna learn a couple more moves, uh, but we don't need it right now. Actually, doesn't he also learn Rock Smash from the Battle Tutor? A very nice thing about the Battle Tutor as well is that we can teach over HM moves without having to go to the move deleter. I don't actually know if. Uh, Pika Blue can learn Rock Smash. That's good to know. I'm gonna keep, uh, Pika Blue will probably end up being an HM friend somehow, but, um... No, I guess I taught it, uh, Rock Smash via TM. I need to go teach it Rock Smash. Oh, that's true! Drill Pest, uh, Drill Peck exists. I forgot about that being a thing. But, uh, before I leave... So you know how we had to do that long trek through Mount Moon to get here? Where is it? Right here. There's a hidden ledge where you can literally go from the Pokemon Center, you don't have to do any of the dungeon, and you can walk straight to the Battle Tutor. Tutor. I don't think you can... Yeah, no. It's just a straight path. Very cool stuff. 
They have wall hacks, exactly. Okay. Um, where uh, do I want to go next? Okay, now that we have the Battle Tutor, and we have Dig on Swinehub, I'm going to head back to Blackthorn City. So, where I want to go next is the Dragon's Den. And the Dragon's Den, uh, normally you have to either beat Claire, or you have to fight, um, or you have to beat two gym leaders. But, uh, we're gonna cheese that with another hidden ledge right here. This one's actually pretty obvious, this swine up here, if you talk to it. It'll wake up and show you that there's a hidden ledge here. Boing. Seems to want you to follow it up the cliff. So you can climb up here and go to a new area, Mount Rose, which is a pretty cool area. It's got some neat uh, encounters, including Espeon. You can just find wild Espeon. You can also find wild Eevee and wild Umbreon, depending on what time of day it is. Um, and there's lots of cool stuff, as well as with the Super Rod. Has it been a year since the last official Pokemon game? That's crazy. Alright, let's see. If we walk around Mount Rose here... The one thing that kind of sucks about Crystal Clear, and it's probably, like, my only complaint with the game, is that because it's made in Gen 2, there are a lot of new areas, and a lot of them look very similar. Not SBO, Espeon. This isn't Sonic. Oh god, where is this? This is wrong. Uncooked schlock? I mean, that's the that's the hope for players, right? I think? This is wrong. I don't want to go down there yet. That actually spits us out at Mount Silver, which is kind of funny. At least I'm pretty sure that's the one that spits us out of so... Uh, not down here. Oh my god. Anyway, I guess I can spoil it now since we found the other one. There's a hole that drops us into the dragon's den without having to fight a gym leader. Or maybe that is the dragon den hole. There's, a, there's one that drops you into the dragon's den and one that drops you in the silver cave. We have digs, so I might as well try it. I'm actually curious as to what happens if you drop down the hole and then try to use dig. If it, like, spits me out at Silver Cave or not. Okay, this is the Dragon's Den one. Never mind. A cool thing here, too, I didn't talk about it, like, at all, because I immediately wanted to get our adventure started. Um, there are residences. And the house key... Um, you can use the house key to teleport back to your residence. Um, if you have... I believe dig, fly teleport, or if you have an escape rope, and it'll use an escape rope. It's pretty neat. Um, and, uh, you can buy new residences, like this one, in the Dragon's Den. Uh, from Randy Savage. We can purchase different residences for different prices, um, but we'll stick with Cerulean City for now. Alright, um, I don't actually want the Dratini. I don't care about the Dratini right now. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh, I forgot. I don't want to go this direction, because it's blocked by a whirlpool that we can't cross. That resident- honestly, the Cerulean City residence is very nice. Also, we get a custom, uh, surfing sprite for Pikachu. I believe that's the Gen 1 sprite that you got if you got, like, the Stadium 1 event Pikachu that could learn surf. I don't actually remember, because, uh, Pikachu in this can also learn fly. And I don't remember if it has the custom fly sprite. What's up, Joe Star? How you doing? Yeah, welcome on- welcome to Pokemon Crystal Clear, my man. Yeah, of course. What's that? The fans make something that fans enjoy? <laughs> Bulby being the champ of today right now. We're actually making great time. I thought this was going to take longer to do, uh, to get everything set up. We're almost set up for everything I want to do before we start tackling something in some sort of order. I think I'll let you guys pick what, uh, gyms we fight and stuff. I might have to start building my own team, though. Which is fine. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can have a little bit of fun, too. 
Uh, there's some cool, exciting stuff you can do because you don't need a single gym badge to collect all 251 Pokemon. Reason I wanted to come into the Dragon's Den is to get Whirlpool. So now we have Whirlpool available to us so we can teach it. Let's dig out. Oh, can't use it here. Rude. Um, I imagine though, there should be an exit to Mount Rose right here. Yep, and I think this is PP Max's. Nice. Okay. Where do I want to head to next? Um, I think Azalea Town? Yes. Wee. Okay. So, this is gonna be a pretty cool bit. Never seen this before. Um... So what we're gonna do is, there's a slowpoke up here behind Kurt's house who's like, Gaze seem to be fixated on the trees. You click on these trees, nothing happens. But, enjoy your lurk bedrooks, so I appreciate it, man. If I save, and soft reset, back to the title screen, I can skip the intro, please. You're actually able to completely skip uh, when you soft reset. We'll probably do it when we have to grind for a shiny, but you can completely skip the intro here. We're going to reset the clock. There's this nice feature to where you can just reset the clock whenever you want. Pretty sick. Um, we're going to make it nighttime. So 10 p.m. sounds good. Have a good night, uh, Matios. I appreciate it. We click on these trees at nighttime. Huh? Between the branches? There's a hidden path. Welcome to Alf Forest. Seems that uh, we are stopped in time here, no encounters. That's a mining, is it? Interesting. I didn't know mining was Gen 2. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cookie? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. What's all this hidden shit? It's dope, is what it is. Okay, so I kind of messed up, I think. I'm gonna... I might have to ruin the immersion for a bit here. Oh, okay. I'm going to ruin the immersion. We need to go back out and grab some Pokeballs. Oh, nope. Wait a minute. <laughs> My immersion! I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot to grab. I meant to buy, uh, buy some Pokeballs before, but we're going to need them. Real quick, a nice thing though, is our boy Kurt here, uh, his son used to work at Silphco. Also, Cookie, since you did gift those 50 subs during the um, 24 hour stream, I will do a shiny hunt for you. So pick um, any of the original 251 Pokemon and I will do a shiny hunt and we'll use it on our team. Oh, he doesn't sell Ultra Balls. I thought he did. Well, that's fine. Thankfully, Nugget Bridge is gonna be nice. I grab some great balls. And oh, the ultra balls are down here. Whoops. Oh, let's grab oh, let's grab as many as we can. Literally two dollars left. Let's go. Uh open back up Alf Forest. Alright, welcome back to Alf Forest. <laughs> the immersion! Okay, um, can go ahead and do this now. So, uh, what we're learning about is that this area is frozen in time, um, but there are three unknown. 
that we need to catch. I'm actually gonna save and put Kenya at the front of the party here. Before each one. Is this Pokemon black and white? Ha <laughs> ha! Oga Kiss as well. Man, you were just not uh, hitting the ball. All right, this is S, level five, nice. Um, a nice thing is Kenya actually comes with a super good move set, including False Swipe, so this is gonna help us catch some of the weaker Pokemon that we find. And you guys are killing it. Also, if you're wondering why these status moves are missing, um, turns out that is something I didn't know, is that, oh my god. <laughs> Metronome is the best, man. Anyway, um, all of status moves when they're used against you have a 25% chance of just not working. So when you get hit by one, it feels even worse than previously. All right, so we caught our S here. He's gonna show up in our party, but we're not going to be using him for anything. I think there's another one down here, possibly. No. I know there's one up on the mountain, that's why I'm looking for this one now. Ah, there he is. Uh, again, I'm gonna save. Shiny Clefairy possible? It is. Alright, Shiny Clefairy, it'll be. And Shiny Clefairy will be on our team. It's gonna take, uh, just a little bit though, because obviously I want to guarantee um, that we're able to get it. Hopefully, Kenya doesn't get knocked out here, or else I'm gonna have to ruin the immersion again. Oh! No! <laughs> God damn, try attack. Oh, thank you for the mind reader. I'll probably end this stream with this grind, because basically, uh, like I said at the beginning, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to set things up so that I can go catch and chain any Pokemon. Anything but the immersion. All right, we're gonna have to go heal again. That one was C. And C is going to be heading to the box. Oh no, we had one more space. Never mind. Al Forest is the goat. All right, see you later, Violas. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thank you for the raid, and I hope you had a good stream yourself. Bring potions? I have two dollars to my name, Philip. I can't. <laughs> I spent it all on Ultra Balls. I'm kind of ups- I am a little bit upset about this because I really wanted to find a way that we could guarantee a capture on something that we're going to be getting in a minute here. Um, but basically all I'm going to be doing is soft resetting and throwing Ultra Balls. <laughs> <laughs> and hoping it gets in. Okay. I'm real quickly going to deposit uh, these guys because we don't need them. See ya. See ya. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> the immersion is back. Do I? Yikes. Didn't mean to do that. After I see what all this is about, what is all this? Save in front of this one. Save. Oh, look at that. G. Unknown G is the weirdest looking thing ever. This thing doesn't look like a G at all. <laughs> Dude, what is going on right now? What? The luck on these metronomes. Japanese doesn't use the Arabic letters. Yeah, Kenya's a little sleepy, it seems. We got Thunder on the last one, and Metro- or Spore on this one. 
no confidence on this guy. Uh, the reason I'm saving is the accidents. <laughs> Yeah, Japanese has its own set of characters, so it's not a G in Japanese. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that some of the unknown letters are kind of a stretch, but G just doesn't look like G at all. He's not a great ball on this one. <laughs> really? like a lowercase one? I thought all the unknown were supposed to be based off capital letters, though. Alright, we caught all the unknown, which isn't actually necessary. I think it's necessary for something else, but I might not, uh, be doing that. Chaos using his clout to tell bad jokes and people care. True, true. Wow, developer, man, that was a funny joke. Can I be a beta tester now? I've never played Oracle of Seasons, so... I rushed to write it. Fair, fair. It wasn't a, uh, a well-calculated one. Actually, no, I do think... I guess I'll be quiet during this. If you take a look at the Pokemon that are being resurrected, it's a pretty cool reference. Got it there, big man. What's up, Celebi? I think it's called like Pokemon Forever or something like that. All right, so um, the reason that I did this right now is because I want that Tyranitar. Because our this guy is going to help us catch a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> I am going to save in front of him. True, the Minecraft approach to spreading water. Um, so, I'm saving in front of him. Is this Kirby music? This Tyranitar has max DVs and is level 55. <laughs> so, my plan is to throw these Ultra Balls and hope to catch them. I think it's a 4% chance. This is what the uh, speed run does. Catch all the Pokemon. No way. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, yeah, you Sandstorm. Works for me. Throw another Ultra Ball. I was about to say easy. I would have loved it if it was easy. Unfortunately, we don't get that lucky. Thankfully, we have six chances. And we've got five Pokemon, so... Sorry, Kenya. <laughs> it's over for you, pal. Bit of an early cheese? It is, but you really gotta know about it. I'll say. Like, that's the thing. I mean, it's open world, you know? Pokemon's not... Like, Crystal Clear is not meant to be like a difficulty hack. It's not meant to be hard. But it's like, that's the beauty of open world games, right? Is that like, once you know the stuff, you can go to the... ...the hard places early. Might be, uh, Bulby's first, uh, KO here. That's alright, we're gonna get it. <laughs> See, it was easy. All right, so 
One thing that I do know is that not all nickname palettes are only when the Pokemon has max DVs, but I believe when I name this thing, is it Tartar? Or it's, it's Tatra, I think. I think this gives it a special palette. Oh, it does. What does it look like? Oh, it's all like blue and stuff. That's cool. So, uh, the reason that, um, ooh, this guy's also holding something. Ooh, gold leaf, I will take that. Um, so now we have a level 55 Tyranitar that can help us, uh, catch Pokemon. It blew itself? It must have. Um, go ahead and just use Surf to get out of here really quickly. I'm not gonna catch the other two Pokemon because I really couldn't care less about them, if I'm gonna be honest. You can also only enter this area at night, if uh, that wasn't obvious. For Gold Schlanger, really? Hi, Sneasel. Bye, Sneasel. All right, see you, Philip. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Appreciate you being here. So there is one final piece to the um, catch any everything really easy. Trademark Stumma outfit. I have sort of this off-white hoodie. I don't remember what video. You can see it in one of my 24-hour stream videos. But like the the backwards hat with the white hoodie and then shorts. So like literally how how gold looks just with glasses and a hoodie. <laughs> I mean gold's already wearing a hoodie, but not uh, the hoodie I wear. All right. Um. Tyranitar is great because it can learn False Swipe. Flannel tee? I haven't worn a flannel in a while. Let's get rid of Sandstorm. Don't need it. Uh, I don't want to teach it anything else. So there is another Pokemon that I could use to make catching a little bit nice. easier, but this is going to be good enough. Yo, GJ! Gifting two tier one subs to the community, my man. We just got those subs from GJ. Enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it. And thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Uh, let me know what Pokemon you want to follow us that's in our party currently. And you can name a Pokemon. So uh, let me know what Pokemon you want to see me catch since you gifted a total of three uh, since we've been playing Crystal Clear. And I'll name it. And I guess uh, you'll get the, the lucky deal and we'll use it on the team since we don't have a, a really set team that... Okay, so another thing that I want to do is we need to go get the Super Radio. What's up, Poop Man? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. For those who missed it, Poop Man made his grand return yesterday to the stream. You picture me in only flannel, but I'm 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 wearing a Hawaiian shirt right now. All right. Real quick thing I forgot to do, go in Olivine City, talk to this guy. Get strength, which is cool. Um, I believe we could also teach strength to swine up, so I'm gonna do that. Got a stream kind of early, let's go, dude. So now we have strength, whirlpool, and waterfall. You can't learn that. Nice. Oh, god damn it. Hey, GJ, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Poop Man. Poop Man, enjoy that gem and all the emotes that go along with it. And GJ, thank you for the supporting the stream yet again. Also, GJ, let me know what Pokemon you want to follow us and what Pokemon you would like me to catch for you and name uh, a name of your choice, as long as it's within TOS. Poop Man can decide which of our Pokemon to follow us. All right. Sky Gem now. Let's go, dude. Okay, so I just want to stress that Kenya, Mahog, and uh, Tatra are not on the team. They are literally just for, like, being HM friends and catching Pokemon. That's essentially what they're for. Uh, uh, Tatra is the main Pokemon catcher. I don't want to break the difficulty in half, but gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> to make stuff easy in the beginning. Kenya, Mahog, and uh, Tatra, the Tyranitar. 
guess this is a ROM hack, a Pokemon Crystal, and it's super good. Okay. I need to head to uh, the Pokemon Center outside of Union Cave first. I believe the... Uh, the fishing rods are in the same locations they are in vanilla. Decide if I can find a name. You get to pick. So any of the 251, the uh, the first 251 Pokemon in the national decks are available in this game. You can just pick one. Oh, I get it. I get it. I missed out. <laughs> I also need to switch back to day at some point. What up, Whooper? Oh, we can't do anything with that. I guess you- I'm sure it would have been a good joke. Oh, I'm just gonna skip all these trainers for right now. Oh. Here- oh, whoops. Yo, what's up, Zen? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm a fan of Pokemon, but this is a cool hack. Crystal Clear is so cool. Yeah, there's, um... There's a lot of Mega Man music in this game. A lot of 8-bit renditions of a lot of different, uh... Pokemon music, Mega Man music. And after we collect the Super Rod and the Pokemon that I need to catch with the Super Rod, there's going to be another music track we're going to go unlock that I think you guys will really enjoy, personally. You wait around gets world record. You do get world record by waiting around. I don't want poison powder, but uh, if you're going to learn sleep powder, Bulbasaur, I'd love that. Hey, let's go. Gliznorp's amazing, yeah. I guess uh, you haven't been around for Gliznorp. Okay. I can always relearn Vine Whip if I want, but Petal Dance is an egg move for Bulbasaur. Um, unfortunately, the move reminder, I don't remember if this is how it works in the regular games, like Gen 4 and onward, if you can just relearn any move you want, but I can only relearn moves that's within Bulbasaur's move pool, uh, level up move pool, and not like egg moves and stuff. So I'm gonna keep Petal Dance and not have Vine Whip. Um, but thankfully, since we're a little bit stronger, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. What, uh, what Pokemon of the ones that I have right now do you want to follow us around? Give me that fishing rod. Yeah, I would say there's mostly Mega Man remix music. Bulby is great. Let's go, dude. Do Bulby? I'll be more than happy to do Bulby. The name of my first Bulbasaur ever. Okay. Uh, where... Where are the other fishing rods? I don't remember. To Google! Uh, it's the same as vanilla, some Pokemon, crystal. Rods. I think there actually is one in Olivine City. Yes, there is one in Olivine, so I just forgot to grab it. And then the other one's on Route 12. Okay. Actually, can I grab the Pokemon I want with the good rod? I mean, getting the super rod would be good. Oh, I don't want to be near yet. I know what that is. You. Ahoy there. Do you like the fish? Sure thing, man. Look good, Rod. spot where you can fish for dragons. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Tatra because we are going to be fishing right here, I believe. Let me check. We're gonna be looking for Mantine. I think he's here? Maybe he's on Route 42. 
Yeah, he is. Wow, using other streamers. There's man time. Oh, uh, we can surf. Oh, it's only with surf. I thought it was with a fishing rod. Okay. Well, this is going to give us a cool chance to show off um, Sweet Scent. So, Sweet Scent is really nice and crystal clear. Um, I'm not going to actually worry about chaining just yet, but if we use Sweet Scent, we can force an encounter, and Sweet Scent makes uh, encounters that are normally a lot rarer a lot more likely. So, it's nice. The menu is so cool. What menu? Abracadabra Alkazam, name it GJ over Amazon. Is there enough characters for that? I hope there is. All right, uh, we're gonna be catching a... I'll put as many as I can. I think we have a total of... I think we have a total of 15 characters, and I don't actually know if greater than is one we can use, but we'll see. Yeah, the Pokédex is super cool. It's super duper cool. I love that I don't have to have a web browser open to figure out stuff about Pokémon. Alright, come on. I'm using Sweet Scent with a Pokémon with a 10% chance. This shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, Shock Slayer and everybody else just absolutely killed it on this ROM hack. It's so good. There's our Mantine. All right. So I am going to use False Swipe. Nice. Oh no, Bubble from Mantine. How scary. Planning on getting secret encounters. Nah, I don't feel like doing secret encounters. That'd be silly. I, uh, I don't want to show off absolutely everything I know, but I will get some of the ones. I don't know everything. I know, like, a couple, like, bronzery and long. I know long as well, but that's it. Yeah, I was informed. That's kind of funny. Some suckers. Cosmic, could you... Uh, could you explain, if you don't mind, how the level ball works in Crystal Clear? I don't remember it. I know the level ball is, like, the best ball in this game, but I don't remember how it works. I also forgot that Mantine's catch rate is super low, so we might run out of balls here. I would really like to catch this Mantine. Oh, I was just hoping it liked Great Balls more. How did it escape an Ultra Ball twice? I don't know, man. It's big, trying to go in a uh, height space. <laughs> trying to figure out how to say things without uh, chat going crazy. All right, and also for now, uh, since we don't have a full team, uh, since your name in a Pokemon, we'll go ahead and use Abra uh, on our team. I don't actually know if Abra gets any good battle tutor moves. Use while it's an Abra. Hey, we got it. Nice. So I don't want this Mantine for a team. It's that Mantine can learn Surf, Whirlpool, Waterfall, and Fly. <laughs> so we knock out four HN moves in one Pokemon, which is pretty nice. So we don't want to keep using Sweet Scent. Also, the menu to keep using Sweet Scent is very nice, and I very much appreciate it. Okay. Um, so now we can go ahead and deposit uh, Pika Blue, and we can also deposit Kenya, because we don't need them anymore. We actually might need Pika Blue for something. We'll see. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I should probably teach Mantine the moves I wanted to know. Mantine going to have fly. 
The level is quadruple the enemies. It has an eight times rate. Twice is four. Raider is two. Wow, dude. Was that Pikachu blue? So there's this really cool thing in Crystal Clear called nickname palettes, where if a Pokemon has the correct DVs and you give it the right nickname, it can change color. That's why our Tyranitar is blue. No, Tyranitar is not... Uh, a, any Pokemon is good. Like, any Pokemon in the game is good. Now that we have Tyranitar to kind of help uh, with False Swipe plus the level ball the Cosmic Angel just explained. Yeah, it's super cool. There's a bunch of, like, hidden ones that you can figure out. Uh, and actually, if we went to the... If we go to the radio, there's a radio station that kind of gives you hints on certain Pokemon uh, and their things, but... Or, and their nickname palettes. It's really cool. So, I'm flying to Fuchsia City for the reason that if we walk this direction into this house right here, talk to this girl. Grandpa's is Savari Zone War in. Like to know another secret mon? I well I already I would like to know, but I don't I don't want to do all the secrets, you know? <laughs> I'll leave some for people who want to try it out themselves. Because I know one of the things that I think is really cool about Crystal Clear is that like Shock Slayer and the the moderators of the Discord server have done a really good job trying to keep like the secrets as like playground things and not be uh, documented. So I don't want to show off too much. Oh, have you finally? Are you finally able to use Frank or Z? Yeah, I'll be curious if uh, I already know the one you're talking about because I already know about Long. Um, both of the locations of Long. But you can tell me, and I'll see if I do it uh, today or not. I will uh, most certainly do it eventually. ETV a while ago and finally did? Let's go, mayonnaise. Yeah. Really good stuff. You get to be a lot more expressive in Twitch chat, and why Twitch chat is still superior to YouTube chat. And why I continue to stream on Twitch and not YouTube. Alright, anyway, if you missed it, I clicked these boxes, and there was a uh, surf HM there. That's how you get surf. Um, and I, d I talked about this way back at the beginning, so if you're this deep into the VOD, I don't know why you'd even question this, but I'll say it just for the sake of saying it. Is that, um... So, like, surf? You can either get surf by doing what I just did, or you can fight the Kimono Girls like you do in normal Pokemon Crystal in Ecarteek City, and... Or, sorry, you don't fight the Kimono Girls, you need to get four badges. Um, and then you can talk to the guy in the Kimono Girls Hall and get surf. Let's see. Hey, Brian. I think what I need to do is I need to fight the Nugget Brigade again. I'm not entirely certain if you don't have any gym badges, the best way to farm money. So I'm just gonna say that for right now, the best way we're gonna do it is by uh, fighting the Nugget Brigade here. So I'm gonna farm money so that we can go get our Abra and then... I might do one other thing, and then we'll start grinding for Shiny Clefairy. No, I don't have any badges. You can collect all 251 and honestly do most of the things in this game without a single badge. And the really cool thing is that the world scales with your badges. The wild data does not scale, but the... Um... No, I know I could definitely get some, but... Sort of a fun thing I like to do uh, with Crystal Clear, because this is my third playthrough of the game, is uh, I like to see how much I can do without getting any badges first. Plus, there are some benefits to not having any badges, which uh, I'll try to show off if we're lucky enough to get our Shiny Clefairy um, early. So, our team will be Bulbasaur, Alakazam, Clefairy. That's interesting. <laughs> That is certainly an interesting composition. Two special attackers, and I think Clefairy slash Clefable is a defensive wall? Okay. Um, I guess we can just pedal, pedal down.
Oh, interesting. I didn't know about that. That's super cool. Have fun scares me. Well, it's a secret encounter, which means I can uh, catch it with a Pokeball. But I mean, I'll show it off, sure. I will catch, uh... Ampharos? Ampharos is... I'm just... GJ, like, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to ask you is, do you want Ampharos... Ampharos or Alakazam? That's... That's my question for you. Up to you. Ampharos is also a special attacker, so... <laughs> you know. Special, having special attackers, I don't really care what the team composition is because they're, especially with the battle tutor, there's like tons of ways to circumvent like, I mean like you can literally solo this game with like a Magnemite, like it's not, <laughs> it's not a huge deal. I want to use what you guys want me to use. However, I will evolve Pokemon, so no meme Magikarps. <laughs> Like, how is this open world? We can literally go anywhere we want. I have zero badges, and I've already basically been around the entire map. No, we can do anything we want at any time, really. I'm just currently fighting these guys so I can get some more money. Uh, so I can buy some... Buy some Pokeballs. Or I'm gonna buy level balls, actually. Because I do think, like, all of Kurt's Pokeballs that he can make in the original Pokemon Crystal, I think most of them are glitched out, and Crystal Clear fixes the glitches. And the level ball is ridiculous, so... Cosmic Angel explained earlier, who is the speedrunner of this game, they explained earlier that the level ball, if the Pokemon you're using versus the Pokemon you're facing, if you are a higher level than it, it gives a times 2 modifier, which is the same as an Ultra Ball. If you are twice the level, you get a four times multiplier. And if you are quadruple the level, you get an eight times multiplier, which is absolutely ridiculous. But that's the thing is like at maximum, you know, you could only get the eight times bonus if you were level 100. I don't know if it's inclusive. I imagine it is. So like if you're level 100, uh, you could get an eight times boost against the Pokemon level 25. But for that, for that very reason with the level ball, it's why I'm not fighting any gym leaders at the moment. In SVS format, I'm not sure what that means. It is inclusive? Okay. Dude, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Also, we're getting our first evolution. Let's go. Bulby is evolving! Ah, uh, Scarlet and Violet. Gotcha. Do, do, do. Also, I forgot to mention is, um, your stream is a little delayed. It is. Um, at minimum, you would have two seconds of delay. I mean, I guess unless it's really delayed. Using tackle once again. <laughs> I mean, I could probably just use pedal dance. Pedal dance is great because it's very good on PP conservation. Since you only use one PP to use it two to five times, the problem is that it's grass type move. I wonder if Venusaur can learn Outrage. Because that would be really good for neutral damage. Welcome back. If you ever want to see your latency to the broadcaster, you can click on the options on the live player and go to advanced and show video stats. Pretty nice. Yeah, usually refreshing the stream is the is the best way to do things. As much as I love speedrunning PO6, I love doing more casual stuff like this because it actually gives me a chance to talk to you guys and not have to stare at the screen all the time. These are going to make some great VODs too, I think. I wonder how many hours of streaming this game's going to give.
he waited for us. How rude. I should have given Ivysaur the amulet coin. Even though we haven't fought any uh, gym leader. That is a Pokemon? It might be. Yeah, also, GJ, if you're still here, let me know if you want Alakazam or Ampharos. I'll use either. It doesn't bother me. Hello. Is this a Pokemon? It might be at this point. I have only played Pokemon up to Gen 7, and I've also played Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. It's just kind of rude. Is it kind of rude or kind of true, though? All right, one pedal dance should get rid of this team. I can just sit. I love that the Turbo A feature is a feature in this. That's gotta be so nice when playing this on actual hardware. Oh no, a Charmander. He's gonna ruin my pedal dance because he's not very effective. Oh. <laughs> oh, this runs on real hardware? The exact same. Turns out after 30 years that Pokemon Crystal actually had a lot of, uh, extra room. The emulator I'm using, which is the BGB emulator, which I believe is, was the best, is the best for, like, basically being one-to-one -one with a Game Boy Color. It's, uh, I haven't encountered any way. Um, okay, I got the nugget. So let's head back and sell it off and go buy some level balls. I'm actually going to fly to Azalea Town right now. Buy some. This is just going to make things so much easier. Plus, uh, if I really want to, I do have Sleep Powder on Ivysaur. Is there a music player in this hack? Uh, sort of? Nope. I... <laughs> Too caught up from earlier. Uh, can I sell to you? Oh, okay. NBC3 cart, gotcha. I am... I literally know nothing about, like, flash carts and that kind of stuff, so... Yeah, so you can... You can select different music. So I can, like, uh... Oops. So you can select between a bunch of different tracks, and there are unlockable tracks in this game. Uh, but I set it to randomize. Uh, if you just press the select button. Uh, I think it's town themes, route themes are the only things not, um, randomized. Everything else is. We don't need this. Oh, wow, 4,090. That's nice. Don't need this. Oh, don't worry. There's a, there's a track that some people in here, I think, are gonna go pretty goo goo gaga over, considering I'm a Sonic streamer. Don't need any of that. You can buy all of the evolutionary items. Lavender Town? Lavender Town, like, the original red, blue, and yellow track of Lavender Town is not in this game. Do, do, do. Let's see, alright, level ball. Uh, we'll buy... 15 for now. Okay. So, make every song Lavender Town? Too bad. Um, alright, we need to go get- GJ hasn't confirmed Alakazam or Ampharos, so I'm gonna go ahead and hunt for- Makes his builds on G BGB. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, all the people, definitely on the VOD, I'll, I'll flash on screen all the people that have helped make Crystal, crystal Clear. Super cool. And, you know, obviously all the references to them in-game. I mean, their own trainers and stuff. Okay. I would imagine the best place to get Clefairy is Mount Moon. But I'm just gonna double check. 
Let's see, let's search for... nope. Medical. Area. Area. Oh, current area search. What do we want? 4%, 4%, 4%. I think I can just, uh... That's Rock Smash. Oh, we're not really gonna need that. There's 5% here on Route 3, and it is nighttime, so... Currently, I might as well do that. Level 6, so we're definitely going to put our... Atra out front. All right. Now, I don't know, on BGB, can you throttle the speed up? Because I am going to use speed up for shiny hunting, so we're not here forever. Okay, so we got 15 level balls. Uh, we got our Tyranitar with False Swipe, so we're good there. Oops! <laughs> oh, this dude's got another thing coming. I probably should have flew to Mount Moon and then went down to the grass from there. That you can, you don't know how? Hey, it's alright. The thing is, is like, the, the BGB documents are like... You know, they're like old. <laughs> so, it's hard to find what you actually want. Hyper Beam the level 3 Spiro. There's no kill like Overkill. Too bad this isn't Gen 1 and, you know, I can just keep using Hyper Beam against this whole team. Oh, that was the whole team. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're just walking along and some kid strolls by with level 55 Tyranitar and just ruins your day. to fight anybody. God damn it. Oh, Cookie, are you still here? I'm gonna need a name for this Clefairy. Oh, Eevee. I will crunch the Eevee. Sorry, pal. No, you're all good. Vaporeon is Channel of Sonic. Okay. Sounds good. No, it's alright, I just- I just needed to know. I love Vaporeon, so... Oh, this guy is Alan? I'm surprised he's not a- a more prominent... Like, in a more prominent place. Yeah, Alan's dope. Good night. Is that too much bullying? The only reason I say it, and I don't talk about this because I think it's dumb anyway and everyone brings up Vaporeon, is like, are you doing it because of the Vaporeon, like, copy pasta that's really weird? Or is it just because, or is it just Vaporeon? Like, that's fine, that doesn't bother me. I do love it, but it's one of my favorite pokes. One thing that I do hate, and why I love... Why I love Generation 5, is a lot of times... I, I just hate the back sprites of Pokemon, and it makes me not want to use them because the back sprites are so bad. I'm gonna show you a Pokemon that I actually think is really cool, but I never use it because of the back sprite, I'm gonna go into the Pokédex because it's gonna it's gonna illustrate this point a little bit further. Um, let's see if we can find find it alphabetical. Hilo Swine, cool looking Pokemon. There's its back sprite. Like what the what the fuck is that? I want to see him be cool. <laughs> Why is he just, like, a brown hump? Let's see, another one that I really like. That really annoys me because it has a terrible back sprite is, uh... 
Ironically enough, another ground type Pokemon, Don Fan. There's Don Fan's back sprite. Like, what is that, dude? Like, make the Pokemon look cool. It's it's Pokemon. I want to see him look cool. I don't just want to see his nose. So trash. Free short though. <laughs> All right. Time to talk about chaining. So there's an item that you get at the uh, very beginning of the game called the Dex Tracker. Uh, what you can do is, oh shoot, there is one thing I want to do beforehand. We're going to fly to Cinnabar Island real quick. So um, if we go into this cave, uh, this was added. I also forgot to state that there is a lot of extra area. Well, I did state the extra areas, but a lot of the original areas have been added back in. Um, so we have an entire island here called New Cinnabar, which you can actually get to. You don't have to go through there. There's this thing called the Fast Ferry, which can take you between uh, Olivine, Cerulean, and Fuchsia City here, uh, as well as New Cinnabar, because it's the same thing. So if you don't have a Pokemon with Fly, this is a really good way to travel around. You do have to pay to use it, but if you get two badges, you can use it for free. Which is really cool, but we're gonna walk into Cinnabar Lab real quick. I'm gonna hop up here, I'm gonna grab this item ball. This is the upgrade card. Going to slide it into the dex tracker. And uh, I'll explain what this is doing later. But it's gotta load. You know, old games, it's just gotta load. Yeah, it's... it's annoying. Upgrade card installed! Loading, and then if we talk to this computer... Alright, see you later, GJ. I will get your, um... Vaporeon Channel of Sonic. Alrighty, so... Uh, a new item, or I should have talked about this, a new option has appeared on the uh, uh, option screen called DV Vision. I'm going to turn it on the light setting. So what we just did is we now have the ability for when we get wild encounters to see the DVs of the Pokemon. We can also, if we want to, see their hidden power typing and their moves, which is really nice. That's what the computer did. I'm going to talk about the upgrade card once I actually start talking about the dex tracker and how it works. It's super complicated, and if you look in the documentation of Crystal Clear, Shock Slayer himself made a really nice video. All right, see ya, Poop Man. Thanks for hanging out with us. Made a really awesome, uh... Yo, even a Niv saying goodnight. What a nice guy. Um, Shock Slayer made a really cool, uh, guide on how the dex tracker works, which is great, because who better than the guy who programmed the damn thing? <laughs> But essentially what it is, is we can use it and enable it, and we can start tracking a Pokemon. Now, when we encounter a Pokemon, I'm gonna try encountering Clefairy. Have fun with Pikmin. All right, good night, guys. What, you're all leaving before the shiny hunt? No, but it's content. What I'm going to do is use in compensation, or in combination, words, with Sweet Scent, I'm gonna try looking for a Clefairy. And I'll explain more once we actually find one. Uh, you can fill it from scratch, Nefiston. I just turned the scene data off, because obviously with the sub goals and stuff of you guys being able to choose Pokemon, I kind of need to know where they are. You can also see now with wild Pokemon, that's what the light DV vision shows. It just shows the uh, DVs uh, in order from left to right, so... The first two numbers are HP, the next two numbers are attack, defense, uh, speed, and special. And it just kind of shows it, but also when we go into an encounter, if I press the select button... Oh, hi, Marie. If I press the select button, uh, I can see its hidden power type, I can see its HP, I can see its DVs more clearly, and I can see the moves it has, which is pretty cool. Hopefully you find a Clefairy. It's a 5% encounter. So it might take a minute here. 
but the, this is where the randomized music helps. I am going to be using speed up in a in a moment here, but for right now, I'm gonna turn on the warm up playlist and just use speed up until we find a uh, until we find what we want. Fairy. I believe this is correct. I'm just gonna double check that I can find one here. I'm not just doing this for no reason. Uncle Fairy has footsteps here as well, but uh, I don't think there are any available at the moment. Take a quick peek, see. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Well, we can also encounter it here too, so might as well. There's a Clefairy. So, with the Dex Tracker enabled, and a cool thing is that you can actually enable it and disable it from battle. So, um, if you aren't looking for the Pokemon that you want, uh, but you need to KO it or catch it or do whatever, you can do that uh, just by turning the Dex Tracker off. However, this is the Pokemon that I want, so go ahead and use Crunch here and defeat this Clefairy. So now... If I stop using Sweet Sense and I head into the pack and go to Dex Tracker, I can use it and check. Species Chain Clefairy 1. Possible rerolls per encounter 0. So if I go into the options, so I don't have to check that every time, I can switch menu account to Dex Tracker and it's going to show us uh, our Pokemon we're tracking, the amount of rerolls up to a maximum of 250, or, or sorry, our current chain and then the amount of rerolls that we have. To put it very, very simply, you can chain a Pokemon by defeating it uh, in battle up to 250 times. And um, the more you defeat, the more rerolls you get. The more rerolls you get, the higher the likelihood that you find a Pokemon with better DVs and a higher shiny chance. Uh, if you want to know more, like I said, in the documentation, Shock Slayer himself made a whole thing on the Dex Trainer Tracker and how chaining works, and it works really well with su Sweet Scent, because Sweet Scent makes, uh, not as likely encounters more likely, so now we're able to just sit here and keep, uh, blowing off Clefairy's face, which is great. <laughs> a nice thing, too, is that if you're worried about doing, like, this chaining, maybe you want to, uh chain up to 250 times and then use the Pokemon on your team, but you don't want the Pokemon that keeps knocking it out to get too overpowered. The uh, rerolls are saved to SRAM, uh, which means that you can soft reset and you will keep your chain, which is what I'm going to do so that... I mean, it doesn't really matter if Tyranitar is overpowered because you're not going to be using it for anything. I'm also going to turn the battle animations off just to make this a little bit faster. Uh, and I believe our... I'm going to also turn on instant text and encounter's already set on fast. I'm also gonna change continue to quick. Another thing about the dex tracker is if you get the, or actually, sorry, by default, what you can do is if you go to options, you can choose the gender, uh, male or female. Um, so that way it's more likely because how female Pokemon are determined in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal is if they have a lower than average attack DV. <laughs> <laughs> they are female, which is hilarious. Um, and uh, if you get the upgrade card, you can search for a specific hidden power type because hidden power type is also associated with DVs. So uh, it's it's cool stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate speed up, and then I'm going to turn on the warm up playlist and uh, speed up, and we are going to perform the Clefairy Slaughter. <laughs> There's no better way to say it. Clefairy is... Ooh, it's not, not going to be good for, for him, depending on what we get. This is to get us our shiny Pokemon. Let me go ahead and mute the game. Crank on the warm-up playlist. And we're just going to have a roaring good time as we look for a shiny Clefairy. So, warm-up music. We're shining hunting, like all the good PokeTubers do. At least that's what I hear. 
So let me go ahead and save. Oh, instant text is so nice. <laughs> Uh, I think I already have shuffle and stuff on, so let's, uh, I'm gonna scoot this up just a little bit so that it's not covering the re-roll count. Take it right there, there we go. You can't read it? I'm sorry. Alright, let's activate Sweet Scent and then, uh, get killing. Or fainting, sorry. I do have to be very careful a bit quiet. I can crank it up. Let me know how that is. I can turn it up higher if you'd like. I mean, is this really unaliving though? <laughs> this is a little aggressive. Um, so it's not guaranteed that you are going to find the Pokemon that you're chaining every single time. So it is very important to pay attention because if you accidentally KO another Pokemon, you're gonna reset the chain, which is not good. Thankfully, once we get up to a max chain of 250, we're going to use Hyper Beam, fuck it. <laughs> when we get to a max chain of 250, uh, I can just run from encounters. I don't have to defeat them, which is nice. Uh, false Swipe doesn't help. So what I did right there is I did a soft reset, but I have... Uh, you can see I still have my re-rolls. And additionally, um, I changed it to the quick, uh, the quick restart. Which just goes straight back into the game. No title screen, no menu select or anything, which is great. There's also a cool little effect that happens, but uh, yeah. I definitely wanted to do this uh, this way. I don't want to use speed up or anything for the main adventure, but I felt like it was absolutely necessary. Ooh, that's a Rattata. I don't want to kill that. It's very scary when you're using speed up and it sneaks up on you like that. But because we have speed up, we should be able to find... I believe when we have maximum rerolls, our shiny chance is 4%. So, not too bad. But this is also why I have the level ball and stuff. There's actually a bunch of quality of life things that uh, Crystal Clear does when you encounter a shiny Pokemon. You can't run from a shiny Pokemon, and uh, the shiny Pokemon can't use any moves that would force you to run or knock forcibly knock itself out. This is BGB. I'm using BGB. Cosmic. Doo -doo. But I'm sure... Uh, I will try to make sure to edit the VODs for this a little bit if we ever have to do shiny hunts like this. Um, and give people a timestamp for when we're done. Or when we find the shiny, of course. Unfortunately, it won't look, work well for shorts because... Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll do it to where we will speed up to get the rerolls that we need, and then I will uh, do regular speed for the encounters, because obviously people love uh, when you find a shiny. I guess my reaction won't be that crazy anyway, because... <laughs> because, like, it's kind of expected, so... The it saving to SRAM is so nice. Just ham it up! Whoa, dude! I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe it's a shiny. Now I like to be genuine. But, like, I'll be excited when we find a shiny, for sure. Yeah, but Cosmic, then I can't, uh... Maybe... Maybe I'll just slow the footage down. <laughs> I wonder how quickly BGB speeds up. Let me actually check real quick and see if I can. Undelayed speed, it says 10 under miscellaneous, but I guess I could click show frame rate. So when I'm using speed up, it's literally 10x. It's uh, 10x the speed, so I can just... <laughs> but then I would have to ADR all this shit. I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Oops, I didn't mean to double soft reset. 
I think for the sake of the VOD over shiny hunting, I care more about the VOD than the short, so. Ooh, almost got me. There is a small window of opportunity we have if uh, it's not a Clefairy to be able to soft reset in case I accidentally defeat it, but... I've got plenty of other clips for shorts anyway, so I'm not worried about it. I would rather just get the shiny and get a move on with the game. Honestly. Yeah, just take the whole VOD. Four hours of Pokemon Crystal Clear in ten minutes or whatever. Crew, <laughs> four hours of footage in one minute. Switch these. Again, I'm just so mad they move. They remove the ability to. Uh, change between the, uh... What am I trying to say? Oh, change your move order. Yo, what's up, Marcy? Welcome back. Currently, uh, grinding to find a shiny Clefairy for whole, uh... Cookie. 128 rerolls. I guess maybe the Ditto... Would I have had a better chance of getting a shiny Clefairy with Ditto than I do with rerolls? The shiny Ditto. I don't really know how pretty it works. What would be wild is if Shock Slayer made it so that the Ditto would have a different trainer ID, so it would be even more likely. <laughs> Oh, you can? Oh my god. I didn't know the modifications... Or I guess, yeah. I guess that makes sense. I thought you could only put it on your trainer ID. So what are the chances then with a shiny ditto? That might be a better way to do it. Oh, Max DV Clefairy, which is more common than a shiny. We're going to see a lot of those Max DV ones. Probably. All I'm doing is looking like straight where the shiny icon is <laughs> and just holding the A button. Reading takes so much longer, so I guess it kind of evens out then. Because it's a longer progress or process, but the chance is higher. Another Max DV, let's go. Will we find a shiny in our rerolls? Only uh, 58 more to go? Rerolls more to go? Might be cooking for a bit here. Hopefully we get it within the hour so we can do some more stuff. Well, I guess with emulator speed up. Okay. 
Another Max DV. This is why this is the 50 sub goal. <laughs> Or you need to uh, get 50 subs in order to do this. Right, oh, I thought it was shiny for a second. This is very therapeutic when you're not doing it on stream, but kind of lame content-wise. Because of the speed up, of course. Some might argue it's... No! We lost our rerolls! Damn it. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I get for looking at chat. Uh, okay. A nice thing you can do is you can clear the dex tracker, so... Go ahead and do that. So that we can see Clefairy again. Rip. Dude, it snuck in. Oh, at a 192? Like, that's pretty wild. Oh my god. It's still nighttime though, so we can still find Clefairy here. But I'll just hop into Mount Moon if it becomes day. There we go. Alright. Time to go again. I mean, we lost our higher shiny chance, but it's still a chance. I am shocked at that high of a reroll that a Rattata popped in there. Especially using Sweet Scent. Why didn't you want a Rattata, Cookie? I wonder if uh, Tyranitar here can learn Karate Chop, because Karate Chop has high PP. I don't want a Growlithe too, but you only get one. Unless you, uh... <laughs> Unless you, uh, give three subs. Or another 50. Shiny, uh, Arcanine looks sick. God, why'd you make a decision? You should feel bad for making a decision. How dare you. I don't actually know what Shiny Clefairy looks like. Is it blue? I think it might be blue. Going along with the the blue theming here, it seems. Tyranitar is blue. My character is blue. Ivysaur is mostly blue. <laughs> the big blue team. The game looks blue, because it's nighttime right now, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if my uh, my sub pricing has been uh, has been good. Nope, got that one. I wonder, can you find Clefairy in the Safari Zone? Because if you're in the Safari Zone, you get uh, extra rerolls. I don't think you can. I think it's just Chancy. I could look it up with my handy dandy Pokédex, but I'm a little too lazy for that. Thankfully, once we get to the 250 rerolls, we don't have to be worried about accidentally knocking out Pokémon because I can just run instead. But then I have to press two buttons instead of just one button. It's terrible. Uh, 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 uh. There we go.
Looking for the shiny. I think, isn't there a thing if you're using the Turbo A feature within the game that if you find a shiny, if you're holding the button down, it doesn't actually advance the text? Like, you have to manually advance it? This is the run! This is it! Is 1.7? Yikes, dude. Well, I mean, with how many Clefairy we're destroying. Clefairy even good for? For being the Pokemon that you chose <laughs> is what it's good for. I kind of like Clefable. Clefable is a fun Pokemon. What was this uh, Clefairy's name? Or what's your Clefairy's name going to be? Pink guy. Well, I'm pretty sure this Clefairy is going to be female. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it can be pink guy. Just it's sex, after all. Calavera, what's up, Murray? How you doing? Even better. Well, I mean, it does have chance to be a uh, male. Seems like we're gonna have a full female team here. Name it Microwave? <laughs> what? Okay. Pretty sure Microwave, uh, fits. Animals unconventional names works for me. <laughs> Filthy Frank. Isn't Filthy Frank the guy who did like the grandpa videos? Those are the only things I've seen from him. Oh, thank goodness. Zagardus, nice. And then 47. All right, I'm just making sure. 15 colors for so long. I thought you could only use four, though. In this emote. Duck smoking? <laughs> what is this? You think it's been six? That's kind of funny. That's a cigarette, though. Literally six colors. I'm pretty sure that for a custom sprite, it has to be four. Isn't it four? Lima's, Lima's making a, a custom trainer sprite for me, which I'm really excited for. I really appreciate you doing that, Lima. Well, I think you can change you can change the red and orange to whatever you want. Yeah. I never knew that about uh Pokemon Crystal, but it's really cool 
Like, now that I know that, like, every Pokemon only uses four colors and every, like, sprite only uses four colors. Like, I've had a lot of fun, like, looking and seeing, like, how they design the Pokemon to kind of almost make it seem like there's four of them, more than four in certain situations. Like, how they were able to get, like, Typhlosion to work and stuff. Really cool. I don't know, it's probably just nostalgia, but I always thought the Gen 2 sprites looked great, other than some of the back sprites. Citra? I thought Citra was 3DS. Yo, powerful Clefairy. Oh yeah, 187. Yo! Rip. Thankfully, the Pokemon has to, like, actually be KO'd. So, we're able to save ourselves. Mareep! They're all gunning to be at first. That's awesome, dude. Pole Dance, a Niv, my man. All right, so our current team we're going to be rocking is Ivysaur, Clefairy, Vaporeon. Oh, let me add this emote just for the heck of it. Why not? Cookie wants it. It must happen, right? How do I add it? Shouldn't there just be an add button? I don't know if I can actually add this. There's not the, uh, add button anymore. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. You can try it now. See if it's added. It might, uh, it might have to update. Works on my end. You can know if it's working for me if uh, it's showing up in the chat box. Which it isn't. Beam. Hyper beam, a little excessive. But the Clefairy goes down and that's the important thing. Oh, I gotta refresh the box? I actually can. Uh, do that. I won't be able to see it in on my chat. I'll have to redo my chat, but there you go. Hey, let's go. Let me actually, you know what? It's going to bother me if I can't see it, so I'm going to refresh my line as well. Do, 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 do. Thanks everybody hanging out with me while I'm sitting here uh, grinding. Out with me while I'm sitting here uh, grinding. Shut up. I don't want to hear myself. Hey, there we go. Now I can see it. Nice. Right? Pull over Tata. I'm surprised it hasn't rolled over to daytime yet. I appreciate it. Inside of your outside is part of your... Is the inside of your outside? Part of your inside. Is that a riddle or is that more like a, like a psychology, like why do we drive on parkways but, but park on driveways type thing? 
That's what it seems like to me. B29, almost at max rerolls, and then we can just start running. We've been at this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, RNG. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's a 4% chance to get a shiny one once we're at max rerolls. Assuming we run into Clavery. It is a W song, it's very good. Like our seventh uh, max DV Clefairy. Let's go. Uh, I think that might have been max. Check. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm not going to save. Now we can just sweet scent and run. Oops. Okay, so I use dig. Ooh, that was still a Clefairy, it doesn't matter. Uh, now I gotta press two buttons, it's so annoying. The human body... Oh. Oh, like the portal debate? The inside of your outside is your inside. Because that's what makes it the inside. That's the opposite of the outside. Like the inside of the outside of my mouth is the inside of my mouth, you know? I almost want to switch to keyboard for this. <laughs> Why did I make this a sub incentive? Come on, 4% chance. That means for every 100 Clefairies, we should get four shiny ones, right? That's how statistics work. Or maybe it's a 4% chance when you get the two extra rerolls. To bait people. Oh, like it's a bad thing to be subbed to the channel. Get out of here. <laughs> I have bad news. Am I skipping? Because I remember this happening before. Am I skipping the... Um, Am I skipping the RNG chances with speed up? Because I remember that happening once before. Like I have to do it at normal speed. Or else it skips the RNG check or something like that. Oh, one in 641. I must be thinking of DVs. Well, I mean, we've encountered, you know, probably like 300 Clefairies at this point. So we're on our way. But I guess, does BGB have that problem? I, maybe. Chaining doesn't stack with breeding, though, so it's not like we could get a max chain and then go breed. I must have been thinking of the, the DV chance. God, there's so many powerful Clefairies in the wild here. Surprised they haven't taken over.
Looking for that triple 10 on the DVs. Hey! There it is. I completely forgot what shiny Clefairy looks like. Let's go, dude. Our first shiny a Pokemon Crystal Clear. Oh my god. Please, I have... Oh, there we go. All right. Our first shiny of Pokemon Crystal Clear. Let's go. Oh, and it's so bad. So a shiny in Gen 2. Um, I believe the max it could have is an 8 HP DV. And maybe a 15 attack DV. So uh, this is going to be something. What's up, Gotta Be Frank? How you doing? It is microwave. All right. I got to make sure not to kill this thing. I'll swipe it up. And then uh, level ball is going to uh, finish the job, hopefully. They're perfect just the way they are. Yep, against the main game, anyway. There we go! Our shiny team member, Microwave. Yes, Kurt's balls are fixed. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that they put it on the Pokedex as well. Ah, Crystal Clear is so neat. Oh, it's also here on the screen. Shinies everywhere. What's the max attack it could have had? I... Bro... It kind of does, yeah. Hey, what's up, Surge? How you doing, man? Alright, I am going to mark this real quick so I know where it is in the VOD. Yeah, I know the shiny DVs, the last three have to be 10. I'm pretty sure it's like the last three have to be 10. Uh, HP can be anything, and then attack has to be odd? Something like that. All right, Tatra. Get out of here. Uh, I also need a name, chat. I want you guys to name, so also in this, we can rename uh, created Pokemon as well. So I need a name for Mahog and a name for Mantine as well. I'll I'll chat source that one. So let's uh, head to Golden Run. When it evolves, they become Oven. All right. Let's go ahead and have um, Microwave follow us, follow us here. I think when we talk to them, they emit the shiny thing. Oh, they don't. Griddle. Two, three, six, seven, ten, eleven. Oh, okay. So it really is random. Well, unfortunately, for a normal type, we didn't get the attack DV. Let's go ahead and um check out uh the move set. What can we teach this thing? Uh let me actually check its base stats as well. Got a decent back sprite as well, and this is what it's gonna look like shiny. Neat. Um. Oh, it's got a fast growth rate. That's nice. Wow, Clefairy is pretty bad. <laughs> What's Clefable? 95, 70. So it does have better special attack. That's good. All right, Pigmas is... All right. Did you want go to IHOP? I would love to go to IHOP. IHOP is delicious. All right, so Mahog needs to be... It's a fairly decent name. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that, Cookie. Hey. Nice. Sonic's Blue Blur Special. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're doing the Amy Maid outfit thing for that, aren't they? All right, what is it? This guy, I think? Legality Fixer? Oh, I can only change the trainer ID if it's a ditto, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whatever. Okay, so I could immediately evolve this thing into Clefable if I wanted to. 
Um, I don't think, because I'm trying to remember. All right, see ya, Surge. I'm trying to remember if... Oh, it can learn all the beams. That's cool. When when I evolve the Pokemon, doesn't the move reminder also count pre-evolution move? It can learn Psychic. That's good. Sing, we already got Sleep Powder, Moonlight. Need for Speed Platinum. All right, I appreciate it, Cookie. Yo, what's up, Sky? Stomo after hours? What do you mean? We're still in stream time right now. Normal stream time. Amnesia seems good. I believe that we can... Yeah, this is the new stream time. Uh, I made a post in the Discord. You want to check that out? Oh, also, just so I don't accidentally use speed up, I'm going to go ahead and disable it. Uh, where's my iPad? Why? And then it does this really dumb thing where I have to do this. Now we should be good. Nice. All right. Just kidding. It broke. All right. <laughs> Ugh. I think I have to do that. And now it should be configured properly. Yep. There we go. Hey, now I can move it again. Okay. So I would imagine... I don't think any of its level up moves are going to help us out. Let's see what Clefable does. I could immediately evolve it into Clefable. Try attack would be good. Can we learn from the battle tutor? Mirror move, man. Substitute would be nice as well. Previous evolution, whatever. Where's the battle tutor move? Nisus, Meditate, Mirror Move, Rock Smash. Really? That's all it gets? Oh, damn. That sucks. Uh, Thunder Wave would be good. Oh, we're going to have a water type, so it doesn't really need water coverage. I guess Psychic for that. Need a phone to join? Yeah, you need phone verification. That's uh, to work against bots. Apologize for that. Okay. Um, let me head to... Where am I wanting to go? Uh, Lavender Town, I believe. Do, do, do. Microwave soon to be oven. True. Did that lady... Are you a ghost? Oh, I didn't want to do this. I want to talk to this guy. So, a nice thing is that this is the Kanto TM tutor. So, all of the TMs from Kanto, you can just learn from that guy. And if a Pokemon had an event in Generation 2, if we go to the Goldenrod Radio Tower. The Murray! More like it. All right, we don't really have. Well, we have good. I'm trying to think of what to give Clefairy because Clefairy is a normal type, so the the best thing to do is just give them moves. <laughs> you know, give them coverage moves. But we don't really need. I guess maybe an electric type move because we're not really gonna have good flying. Oh, Vaporeon can have Ice Beam. I guess we'll just give the thing Flame Flower. Uh, so this guy here, uh, for 4,000 Poké Dollars, he can, uh, teach us Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower, which is dope. Uh, I'm gonna head up here to Evolution Solutions. Grab a Moonstone. With my last few dollars. And, uh, let's turn Microwave into Oven. Microwave is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. Yay. 
Now we gotta go rename it Oven. <laughs> oh my god, that is a that is a big big girl right there. Looks <laughs> so goofy. Chonky, yeah. Her microwave evolved into an oven, exactly. What a weird name for a Clefable. What cookie wanted. Why do they call it oven? I don't know. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I guess we got to face the Nugget Brigade again. I literally have no idea other than this as a good way to get money without uh, fighting a gym leader. Because I still don't want to fight a gym leader le yet. I have uh, ideas for things we can do before we fight our first gym leader. I need to go get Vaporeon, but I will do that in a second. Wow, these moves are hot garbage. Can we teach it anything? For our TMs we got right now. Thief Nightmare. You learn Surf. Then look. All right, use the battle tutor to teach a try attack, I guess. Oh, try attack is Kanto TM, which is fine because we have infinite of those as well. Also teach a mega punch, but whatever. Body slam, take down, double edge, bubble beam, water gun, mission counter. Where is try attack? Ooh, teleport. Cool. Self-destruct. Right. Thunder wave. Let's give it thunder wave as well. Oh, I also need to change stuff. New oven. The cold out of the hot food. Oh god. I learned rock slide again. Try attack. It is. It's gonna be our main attacking move, even though our attack stat is terrible. Better than nothing. So I can buy some money and get more stuff. Honestly, I should have kept that water stone I got from Pika Blue, uh, cause Vaporeon. Let's see. And here we go. I guess we get to get some levels on uh oven as well. I don't think I have ever used Clefable. Ever. So this will be a new and interesting experience for me. happen in real life? I don't want my microwave to turn into an oven. I definitely like Clefairy more than Clefable. Personally. Clefable is the chonk, though. I think this is our fourth time seeing the Nugget Brigade, Brigade on stream. Classic Pokemon stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stuff goes a little bit slower now. Oh, I forgot to uh, put the battle animation back on. My bad. Ooh, 288 Poke Dollars. What a steal. Uh, let's see. I'm going to switch back here to fast so you guys can read it. Battle animation's on. And counter fancy. I mean, the the best part about normal types is normally they can learn a lot of moves, but it seems like without, like, the tutors that Crystal Clear has specifically, it doesn't really learn a lot. <laughs> it probably gets more use in, in later uh, generations. Yo, let's go, Lima. Thank you. I'm excited to see. I imagine I can inject a uh, character in an already started game. That would be really weird if I couldn't, I would think. Manipulates the Met metronome? That's awesome. I'm probably going to have to heal during this at some point.
He's so small, yeah. I mean, you honestly, I mean, depending on the difference, you don't really have to change him at all, really. Metronome crit. I have never seen a Pokemon Tass. That sounds really interesting, actually. Uncle Fable's so chonky, dude. <laughs> I love it. One thing I find kind of interesting is that I've seen some people put uh, custom nickname palettes over shiny Pokemon. What would be the reason to do that? Just a mugging in disguise? That is kind of true. Riot Attack's actually a super good move. I quite like it. In one of my other playthroughs of Crystal Clear, I used a Flareon with Tri Attack, and it was actually super good. Uh, Flareon's attack stat is much higher than Clefable's, though. Clefable, more like carbs. Dude, <laughs> if I if I named this Clefable, it probably would have called it carbs. <laughs> that would have been so funny. You have to put a pallet onto it to wonder trade it? I'm gonna go ahead and use up one of my PP maxes on try attack here. Diet Coke. That's too mean. That's too mean. It's too on the nose because Oven is female, too. <laughs> I hope you guys, if you've never seen Pokemon Crystal Clear uh, before, are enjoying it. I know we haven't, like, actually done too much in the game yet. Uh, just because I've been setting up for this, but now we're ready for it. You're too skinny? Wait, what does that have to do with my skinniness? I'm not skinny at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Some of the prodigious girth. Wowza. Prodigious. That's a new one for me. Oh my god, I only have 17 speed. I'm pretty sure my speed DV is actually pretty high, though. Well, it has to be. It's 10. I wonder if, like, in development for this, they were making a bunch of random DV combinations for a shiny Pokemon, and they just stopped at HP and attack. They were like, we let's just make everything else 10. I feel like, though, it would have maybe made more sense to have attack, speed, and special attack be the determining ones, or be the ones that were always set at 10. So that, like... At least on offense, like, any shiny Pokemon would be kind of good. Because obviously, you know, you find one. You're gonna use it. But I also know nothing about coding, so... Maybe there's, uh, one of those... One of them reasons behind it. We do get that stab, though. From... Cry Attack, so... A little bit better than normal. I think it's hitting, uh, I think Tri Attack's normally 60, so it's hitting at 90, which is as much as the beams are going to. Well, the beams are 95, actually, this gen. I definitely think I want to give Oven Flame, I mean, I have to give Oven Flamethrower. What am I even thinking? It just has to be one of its moves. Or Fire Blast, I guess, but Flamethrower is much more attainable and more reliable for the base game than Fire Blast. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know there was a mathematical reason. Dude, what if Tri-Attack was just insane and hit, like, as an electric fire or ice type attack? Honestly, something that could have been cool with Tri-Attack is if it randomly picked whether or not it was going to be a fire 
an ice or a... Yo, good luck, Murray. Have fun, man. Dude, getting all the cash. Fat stacks from these guys. Good thing they constantly have money for me. What am I doing this for? I'm doing this so I can get flamethrower. Hello, fellow Tri Attack user. How do you do, fellow kids? Yo, welcome back, Bedrooks. Alright, I need that nugget. Thank you. Cosmic, is there a better way to grind for money without gym badges other than Voltorb Flip? Or this? He back. Ooh, this kind of sucks. I'm gonna switch out to Ivysaur. You don't have a tail. What are you shaking? It's your ass? Uh, well, I can't switch out now, but it doesn't really matter. Pow! The oven grew to level 11. How nice. No bunch of hidden items. Probably not. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I don't. I know a couple of the hidden items from watching your speedrun, but not very many. Are you going to be confused? No. Rip Squirtle. <laughs> I apologize for that one, buddy. Never had a battle go this good. Interesting. Yes, I have the amulet coin on right now. Alright, Chonk, let's go. Get you flamethrower. Actually, I'll just watch. I mean, I know all I need to do is beat a gym leader, but I kind of like seeing how long we can delay the gym leaders. Because <laughs> open world is fun. All right. We need a Vaporeon. I don't know why I did that. That was pointless. I don't know exactly where to get an Eevee. Hello. All right, I'm going to check if, because this is going to evolve into Vaporeon, I will soft reset if the special DV is below 10. Okay, we can just get a go to DV. Let's see, oh, actually we need lower so. Like I said, the uh, the gift Pokemon have a higher chance to be good, which is nice. All right, let's get ourselves a Walter a Walter Stone. Let's see. Let's sell. Get... There you go. Thank you. Purchase a Walter Stone. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. What channel of Sonic is evolving? E-Blue. The meme Pokemon. Such a shame. All right, well, I guess, you know, Mantine doesn't really need Surf, but I'm gonna leave Surf on it because I don't have any other reason for it. Definitely not giving Vaporeon the, uh, 
the other stuff. Alright, I don't have enough to get both Ice Beam and Flamethrower. I might fight a couple trainers, maybe, in the underground. I guess I could sell some of my PP Maxes, but I don't really want to do that. I mean, like, we could fight a gym leader, but fuck. It's Flamethrower to Clefable. What we even need Ice Beam for right now? I would say grass types, but we're about to learn flamethrower. So we actually don't need it. I need a name for Mantine. I just realized that I don't have one yet. Okay, so a decent crew so far. We got a uh, we got Surf on Vaporeon, so that's good. Uh, let's see what Battle Tutor can teach. Uh... Do you get Vapor Wave? I don't know, man. Getting too lost in the sauce here. Um, Thief is nice. Uh, there are some items we can get, so I'll teach a Thief just to have another move. Metal Claw! Vaporeon has a terrible attack stat, so no thank you. Uh, Try Attack as well. I mean... Oh, Try Attack has 80. Base 80. So that means Clefable's hidden for 120. That's awesome. Uh... Better than Tackle. Okay. Battle Tutor goaded as always. Shoutouts to Grizz. I don't think I ever looked at Ivysaur for the Battle Tutor. Let me do that real quick. I don't think there's anything I'd even want to put on it from here. Honestly. Sludge Bomb would be good. Let's get Sludge Bomb, why not? I mean, we could just get the TM, but it's better than Tackle. And we get Stab on Sludge Bomb, too. Okay. Now we need to head to... Do we keep Meemin? I kind of want to keep Meemin. We also need a nickname for Mantine, but I think I said that already. Let's, uh... I don't think we can meme these guys, or maybe we can. I'm trying to think. Yo, let's go, Lime. I'm excited to see it. Um... Let's go catch some legendaries. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right. Um, I know where all the legendaries are, and like I said, you can catch any legendary uh, prior to collecting any gym badges. Do we just get all the legends? <laughs> all the legendaries? Where you want it, uh, you can DM it, DM it to me on Discord, or you can um, put it in there or whatever. Put it in the Discord or whatever. So, to get Ho-Oh, normally you need to get the Rainbow ra Rainbow Wing. To get the Rainbow Wing in this game, uh, you have to complete Sprout Tower. The Sprout Tower is actually pretty hard. I think you need four gym badges to do it. But if you just surf on here... There's a secret entrance. We press A on this. Oh, it's a gate. Open it. Sure. You just kind of stroll in here. Sage appears to be distracted. Something in his pocket. Try to steal it. Receive the rainbow wing. Yay. <laughs> We're thieves. Run. The game automatically does that. <laughs> I love that. That tune. That's so funny. Additionally, if you go back in and talk to him. It was you who stole the rainbow wing from us. Hmm, worry not. Forgiveness is one of our principles. Principles is spelled wrong. Well, and you meditate on this. You got it, buddy. Okay. Now, another thing is that we don't actually have access to the Tin Tower right now. Well, normally, anyway, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff with the Suicune side quest. 
that tasteless and sad? That's true. I don't know if it's tasteless necessarily. I mean, we're not, uh, Mantine should never die. Unless we get in a really sticky situation or something. Oh, I thought that was... No, the thing is that, um... Shock Slayer actually made a joke on that. Uh, in the Discord. Alright, so if we go into Mount Mortar, I'm actually gonna put Catra up here first so that we can run from stuff, because I don't feel like switching to Ivysaur, I guess. I wish I could get super repels, but I have no money. Only typo in the whole game. I do hope that if there is another update to Crystal Clear, because I guess I should have said this a while ago. Uh, let me actually go ahead and turn on Quick Encounters as well. Um, that Crystal Clear is, like, considered a done game. Like, it's... Like, yeah, I doubt it's gonna get any more updates, which is really cool to get to play a good finished game on stream. Uh, X speed none, and... Encounter... Oh. Now we should be able to quickly run from stuff. I love memeing. What's the point? <laughs> I wonder how many legends we can catch. I do kind of want to end this stream by fighting our first gym leader. <laughs> so I want to see how many legendaries we can snag before uh, we do that. So there's a new area here. This is called Mount Mortar Peaks. Very cool. Love new areas, and if we sneak our way this way, you can kind of see that these tiles are a little bit different, kind of like where we entered uh, the Sage Tower. Yeah, you can enter the Tin Tower as well, and there's also a gate. Pretty cool. I believe the Tin Tower also has new encounters, so we might be seeing some cool stuff. Ooh, who knows? What's up, Ghastly? This is why we caught the big bad. I don't know, it feels kind of cheesy. I mean, it's not really any different, but just because I think Ivysaur has a shorter cry, I'm gonna put Ivysaur up first. Hey, what's up, uh, Soyusa? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. What I missed these past two hours? Uh, commentated Pokemon Crystal Clear gameplay. I don't actually remember how to solve the Tin Tower puzzle, so I might mess this up quite a bit. Oh, that's true. We did catch a shiny Clefairy named Oven for a cookie. It was their decision. Because they uh they dropped 50 subs. I I did want it to only be during the uh during the Crystal Clear playthrough, but Cookie was incredibly generous and dropped 50 subs, so. During the 24 hour stream, so I decided to have the shiny Pokemon incentive for them. The fairy, but now we got the chonk. Oven the chonk right here. I think it's the wrong way. That's yeah, definitely the wrong way. Or is it? Honestly, I'm not picking up the items because I don't want to run out of bag space. The chonk, true. Uh, did I just loop? I did. I mean, I guess I could pick up these items and then sell them. That's actually probably a good idea. Ooh, escape rope. I should probably pick up the items that I see. Like I said way earlier, the dungeons in this game have tons of hidden items in them. But I don't know where they are. And I'm not gonna sit and mash the item finder button to find them. Is it this way? And this way? Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, I think it's nighttime, but I'm pretty sure we can also encounter Espeon and Eevee here. Thin Tower. Cool. Yeah, we can. Espeon, Eevee. Neat, neat. Dun, 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 dun. The end game grind to catch all the Pokemon, I think, is going to be super cool.
have to want to do, otherwise it's not worth it. Gotcha. Yo, a Niv wrong stream, bro. This is what I want. I love this. This is the part that I love in Crystal Clear. Like, we haven't even fought a gym leader yet. We're on our way to catch ho -Oh. So cool. Uh, also, it doesn't matter what vitamins we use on what, because stat EXP... Honestly, from a casual perspective, I really like stat EXP. It's like... I don't have to think, like, competitive viability of these Pokemon. Well, I mean, I guess I do with DVs, but... Uh, for... The Battle Tower equivalent that's in this game. I will be doing... Something else. Okay. So, one of the main reasons, not just for memes, that I wanted to catch the legendaries now... Is, uh... The legendaries levels scale with badges. So... This ho -Oh is going to be level five, which means that we're gonna get an eight times multiplier on our level ball. So I wouldn't be surprised if we caught him in the first few. Also, dope eight bit remix of the Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, I can't remember if we can throw a Pokeball. Oh, we can. That's nice. Oh, dude, I thought on the first ball. That would have been so sick. I guess I can switch to uh, Ivysaur and put him to sleep. That's probably a good idea. Well, then I'd have to switch back. Nah, too cumbersome. Just keep throwing level balls. Because in every dungeon, I can just find items and sell to buy more level balls. <laughs> oh, Sacred Fire. So scary. Too bad I am 11 times your level. Oops. Also, the ho battle has Perma Sun, which is kind of neat. With the times eight level ball chance, what's our actual chance? Those numbers below enemy HP. Um, so we got an upgrade um, where we can actually see the D, the determinant values of Pokemon before we catch them. Uh, so each of those are the DVs, which are like what IVs are in later Pokemon games, uh, except DVs only go from 0 to 15, not 0 to 31. Yeah, it's really nice uh, when you're building a competitive team. Know what the DVs are. Hey, nice. All right, that's Ho. -Oh. What's the name of our big, uh, our big, you know what? I'll just name him. I'm not worried about this. Like, if somebody subs and wants to, uh... Oh my god, look at that. That sprite is so... It's cool, but it's, like, so, uh... So messy. Oh, it doesn't fit. Fire Chick it is. I was gonna name it Fire Chicken. Alright, that was Ho. <laughs> All right, real quickly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to New Bark Town. Um, so I'm not actually, or what was I trying to say earlier? I'm not actually worried about, um, can I heal in the house? Uh, no, I have to heal at Professor Holmes. Phoenix, yeah. Do, do, do. What was I trying to say? Oh, we actually have a way to obtain infinite legendaries. We don't have it for a while, but if somebody wants a legendary, then I have another way of doing it. The only thing I don't know is I don't know how to get star pieces and big pearls. Are there a limited amount of them or are they hit or are they items you can steal from Pokemon? Is it star piece or stardust? For that event. I think it's Star Piece. Because that makes things really easy if there's a renewable source. I think it's a Big Pearls, actually. Star Piece and Big Pearls. Okay, so I wanted to collect a berry, because we're going to go to Olivine City. And 
make our way over here. Let's get, uh... Get COS and some battle in here since it's our weakest Pokemon at the moment. Put the amulet coin on him. There are some trainers. We have to go through the lighthouse. I don't know if there are any required battles. Oh yeah, there are. It's literally this first guy is a required battle here. Oh uh, yeah. Makes sense to me. And of course, because we haven't defeated any gym leaders yet, uh, the Pokemon are pretty weak. Which is nice for us. <laughs> and just run around the world. Fortunately, we won't be getting a ton of money from him. And I believe when you defeat any trainer outside of a gym, you never get to fight that trainer again. The lighthouse is cool. So I also talked about residences. Uh, you could actually purchase a residence at the top of the lighthouse. Really neat. Oh, I didn't mean to use surf, but that's what we're doing. the sprite and DMs. I'm excited to look at it. Gotta look. It's a little small. <laughs> I gotta zoom in. Oh, that looks really cool. Wow, that looks super sick. Thank you so much for making it. I do I do have one. It's it's kind of a, a big request, so it's totally fine if, if you say no. But uh, what would you think about making the front sprite? Literally just like uh gold's gold stance. So like the template, just that stance but recolored kind of the same way that you have it. That's really cool. Thank you for making it. I'm very excited. For sure, thanks. I, I hoped it to not be too much work, but uh, that's super dope. I didn't know you were a sprite artist. I really appreciate it, Lima. I dabble. Better than I could do, that's for sure. Really cool. Well, hopefully, assuming the sprite injects correctly, we'll be seeing the new sprite tomorrow. Can't do art. The best I can do is graphic design, <laughs> which is like kind of like art. I'd say over over the course of three years of making YouTube thumbnails, I've gotten somewhat decent at posing and making stuff fit right on the page. <laughs> As a, it's part of the job, but... Making something from scratch, uh, it's gonna be terrible. What's up, vegan? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're playing uh, Pokemon Crystal Clear. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, there's Growlithe. I hope somebody wants Arcanine on the team, because I love Arcanine. Arcanine's probably... Third favorite Pokemon. You tell I uh, I grew up. I guess I never talked about this. My first Pokemon or my first game I've ever played was Pokemon Yellow. So a lot of the Kanto Pokemon have a sweet spot. Pretty much anything Gen One through Gen Four I love. And I found a, a new appreciation for Gen Five as well. Chris 
Crystal Clear, though, has definitely been, like, pinnacle Pokemon experience for me. Like, this is my third playthrough. Like, literally one right after the other. This is my third playthrough of it, and I, like, I'm not bored at all. Such a good hack. Thanks, Shock Slayer, and everybody else who helped out with it. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to uh, I forgot to mention. Um, now uh, we unlocked the Ho -Oh music, so it's now in the randomization pool. That we get to use so another cool part. Yo, Chonk, don't take down the lighthouse, man. This thing needs to stay up for the sailors. Ooh, super repel. That's nice. Okay. So, when we're up here, so you don't have to do this anymore. Like I talked about, a lot of story triggers and stuff are removed um, to enhance the open world aspect of this game. Uh, so you don't have to actually heal Amphi, but if you give it a berry, it'll love you and give you the silver wing to catch Lugia. Which I definitely think is a lot better than a random dude in Pewter City giving it to you. Oh, I appreciate that. Giving Amphia Berry also does something else incredibly nice, but we'll get there when we get there. Are the legendary dogs... Are they scaling too, or are they always level 40 still? I don't know if it's any different because of Suicune. My goodness, Chonk. <laughs> they are 40 always? Okay. So we can't cheese them like we're cheesing the other ones. Same with the other roamer, good to know. Quaking with every step, the oven. Should have called it tank. I love that the the border updates with um with this. All right. So for Lugia, I need to make sure of something. I think this works. I'm pretty sure that'll work. Um We might only have time to catch Lugia cuz there's two more things I want to do this stream before we end. Because uh, I unfortunately didn't have time and I have to cut the grass like right in a half hour, but I think we'll have enough time to do this. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to Cienwood City. How much money do I have? Five thousand. Can I sell stuff here? Oh, shit, there's no mart. Oh, back to Olivine. <laughs> I gotta get out of my way. Oh, don't need this. Don't need this. Actually, do I even want to do it this way? Probably not. I have strength and everything, too. Don't put a big letter F. That's awesome. Oh, don't need this. I will keep the super repel just in case I get super annoyed. Super annoyed, haha. Huh? Okay. Let us go down. Or, er, I actually want to head to Seanwood City again. Because we have to go into the World Islands where Lugia is. And the World Islands are literally right here. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with random encounters, which is going to be kind of annoying, but I do have instant text on, so. Speaking of, you don't have the smoke ball. Hope he does. Yo, got that, uh, 25% chance. Nice. Oh, 
All right, I literally just did this on my personal save file last night, so hopefully I can remember where to go. I think we want to enter this island first. I also need to teach Pigma Strength. I don't know if I've done that yet. Yes, I do. Oh, he does know strength. Never mind. Okay, I need to go down here first? No, I think this is wrong. Wrong, why we have the smoke ball. I mean, we have Tatra as well, but just to keep things a little bit fair. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna surf this way. And what's right here? Oh, <laughs> an encounter, I guess. All right, so there's a little stand with a ball on it. A strange glowing orb, it's cold to the touch. Have oven use flamethrower? So, when you find one of these in the World Islands, you need to have a Pokemon as your follower use a super effective move on it. So this was the ice type one. And then, uh, I'm trying to remember. If there's an ice type one, I'm sure you can guess what the other two are going to be. And that there are two. Two of them are grouped together. I'm just trying to remember where. I think I want to go left here. I might get lost here for a minute. The Whirl Islands are a dungeon that I can never remember properly. The tentacle getting the hoe music is kind of a little, a little backwards. <laughs> This one. Wait, this was the one we started at. Whoops. Can I get to it from here? I don't think so. I think this is a dead end. Might not be, actually. Yeah, this, uh, this one's a dead end. I forgot. Well, I guess we can use the, the thing, but that just connects us to the other island. Yo, what's up, Dorito? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we got about 20 minutes left, so... Yeah, there you go. Ooh, a tentacruel. Neat. Also, a nice little, uh, quality of life thing that, um... Do the stream again, I didn't see. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, I believe this is where we want to be. Like, this is uh, the one that's gonna take us to Lugia. But also this. So I believe this is gonna work. Yes. Use Dig. That's the electric one. Noise. And then... I think it's actually super simple. We just go down this ladder. Yep. I don't think we can use Dig again. I think you have to use three unique moves. Even though uh, Dig should... Technically, also work here. Yeah. I think I just have to use a different Pokemon. Thankfully, we have Channel of Sonic here. You surf. Now the fire one's gone. Erm. Um, it isn't blowing anymore. I thought there was an animation when you did all three, but I must be misremembering. And I believe we want to go to the top right island. Sounds good, man. Do, do, do. All right. Now, 
Uh, to get to Lugia's chamber, I think we just go right here. And hopefully not fight any trainers, because I'm on a time crunch. Yeah, I gotta use Whirlpool to get over here. This is why we got the HMs early, so it was super easy to traverse the world. Shoutouts to Mantine for learning 4HM moves <laughs> that are all super useful. Thanks to the Battle Tutor for allowing it to learn Fly as well. Okay. I think that there is a proper set of ledges that I have to go down. Go ahead and use the super repel, and I'm gonna switch to Catra. Is it kind of cheating because he's not a team member? Yeah, but whatever. He's on. He's in the party. I don't think that was right. I think it's this one. Yes. This is correct. Nice. Picking up some items to sell. And we are now in Lugia's chamber. But what's going on with Lugia? That's kind of weird. Definitely want to save before this fight. Ching. Also dope music from the movie. If you destroy all three orbs, or there actually is another method as well, but we haven't gotten there yet. You get to fight Shadow Lugia instead. XD001 in reference to Gale of Darkness. Super cool. Um, this is a nickname palette, but it's not possible to name a Lugia this yourself because you can't uh, put numbers in your Pokemon's names. Which is pretty cool stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna try catching this thing. Oh, dang, I was hoping for the first ball. That would have been sick. Put you on Akinator? I have no idea what that is. But yeah, it's super cool. It's such an awesome Easter egg. There, like I said, there is a second method as well to getting Shadow Lugia. Oh, nice. Thank you, times eight catch rate. Lugia having a goth face. I believe if we change its nickname, it will not be this anymore. So, uh, oh, you can't give it a nickname. Okay, never mind. But, uh, yeah, you get to see Shadow Lugia. I'll go ahead and put it in the party so that we can, uh, see it for a minute. I could probably make it an HM friend. <laughs> Actually, other than Mantine, I'm curious to see what it learns. But, yeah, really cool little side quest in the World Islands there to get a Shadow Lugia. Pretty neat. Um... I'm really glad that, uh, that was really quick, too. Okay. We got a couple more legendaries to grab before our first gym battle. What a weird sentence. <laughs> it can be shiny hunted, yeah. Well, isn't it almost like that it's just a different Pokemon? Because it doesn't have its name doesn't have to be restricted to any DVs because you can't nickname a Lugia that yourself. Its shiny form looks really cool. I did farm for its shiny uh, version, and it looks really neat. Blue Pokemon without mail. Fortunately, the Gen 2 box system is kind of cumbersome, but that's how it would be. See, I'm going to go ahead and swap out... Uh, um, Give her a Mantine. So it already has fly, so I don't need to worry about that. But can you learn surf, waterfall, and whirlpool? I would imagine the answer is yes. Whirlpool, waterfall, surf. Okay, great. 
Well, Lugia <laughs> XD001 will be our new HM friend. That is hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty sweet looking. I don't know if it's really for me. That's fine. Let's see how it looks when it follows us. Oh yeah. That's so cool. That's so cool. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't give it a nickname, but, uh... Go ahead and teach it the HMs. It's basically just Mantine, but cooler looking. Looking like a duck? I don't know why Lugia isn't a water type. But uh, whatever. Also, interesting thing about XD001 specifically is that it has the, uh, the drizzle ability. Like, it's not, like, actually an ability, but it's, like, kind of an ability, technically. Rip Aeroblast. I don't think Lugia knows Aeroblast, like, by, um... Like, it learns it leveling up, even though it would have it. Oh, it does. Never mind. I just saw it right there, level one. How do I see all the moves again? Like that. Oh yeah, it learns Aeroblast at level one. Makes sense. Alright, well now we have a super sick HM friend. <laughs> That's so awesome. Alright. Chat, I'm gonna go ahead and take a really fast bathroom break. I know we only got 20 minutes of the stream left, but I've been kind of holding it for like the last half hour, and I just gotta go. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run quick one minute of ads to remove any pre-rolls for any friends who join us afterwards. I really hope you're enjoying Pokemon Crystal Clear. I absolutely love this ROM hack, and it's just a ton of fun. So, I'll be right back. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. My cream-colored headset? Uh, I'm pretty sure my headset's just white. Alrighty, let's go ahead and finish off what we're doing here. Let's fly over to... Um... I to Azalea Town, actually. We have some items to buy. Oh, headrest. That's also white. It's white and gray. So you're just... You're wrong in both instances. <laughs> I wanted to go to Azalea Town, because Azalea Town... Uh, can, you can actually buy super repels here without needing any badges. And I'm gonna want it because we need to... Camera might not be color accurate. What, you mean my $50 camera that's meant for zoom isn't color accurate? How rude. Okay. Um... Let's head to... Um... Actually, I want to go here first. I think we're going to, I'm going to try catching two of the legendary birds, and then, um, well, I might try to catch one more of the legendary birds, actually, and then I want to try this thing that Cosmic sent me, because I haven't tried it, and then, uh, tomorrow, we will continue with catching the other two legendary birds, because I think they're the last legendaries that are scaled level-wise. I might as well catch them while they're really easy to catch. Before we start doing gym badges and stuff, because they start, uh, gaining levels. But I think it's just the birds, Lugia and Ho-Oh, maybe Celebi, too? I don't remember. Okay, so I'm going up to Mount Rose here. If you remember from way earlier, we went up to Mount Rose, which is a new area for Crystal Clear to get into the Dragon's Den, which we went through that hole to get to. There's also another one. I don't think we need Rock Smash. Might actually need Rock Smash to get to it. I don't know if we can actually get there without it. Well, that's unfortunate. I gotta go teach Rock Smash real quick. Back to Black Corn. Damn, a Niv calling total novice gamer out. Uh, I also have to get Rock Smash. Whoopsie. To go do that. A uh, swine up can learn rock, rock smash, so that's nice. We can also buy it as a TM from the store, so not worried about wasting it if I have to override it with something. 
Niv the goat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also didn't mention that when you transition and you see that little uh, slide in that has the title card for the router city, uh, that's added by Crystal Clear as well. Deserves to be a Pokemon free of charge. I'm not quite sure that's how that works, but uh, it might be. Right, Rock Smash Instant Texas the Goats. And you're running out of time and want to do things. And there we go. We got our two HM friends, Shy <laughs> Swinub and Shadow Lugia. Incredible. Get back to Blackthorn. That is really cool. I'm glad it worked out. Kind of... I mean, not really a waste catching Mantine, because I think we used everything except for Waterfall on Mantine. Yeah, let's just try this. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna feel like such an idiot if I didn't actually need Rock Smash for this. That's our Rock Smash also has encounters. This encounter might be scary. I'll do it for a little experience. Actually, on level. I also like that a lot of the new areas have, like, varying wild data. But I guess we're also in Johto, and Johto is, uh... It's just for an item. A Sacred Ash is a pretty good item. Revives, uh, all the fainted Pokemon, and I also think it completely restores PP. Not entirely sure about that part, but... Pretty decent item. I think this just goes to another new area, the Forest of Rage. Essentially, Mount Rose and the Forest of Rage is uh, connective tissue between the Lake of Rage and stuff. I guess so you can avoid Route, what, 42? I don't know, it's kind of neat. I just don't remember where this Mount Silver entrance is here on Mount Rose. I know it's here. That's the Dragon's Den that I keep running into. What if I can see? Okay, yeah, that just back around. I know there's a Mount Silver thing somewhere. Oh, hello. Oh, is this the swine up from earlier that showed us the cliff? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Down here it is. All right. Medicine scam, it must be. Okay, now we are in Mount Silver. Uh, so we have the fly point here, which is pretty cool. Um, but I do not want to fight this lady. Uh, that's Elena. Way back in the character customization, we could actually choose to play as her. Um, I think, again, she was like an unused sprite or something from Gen 2. I can't quite remember the specifics. But now we're at Mount Silver. And you can see right here is the entrance to Mount Silver proper, where you can go, like, face red and stuff. But, uh, we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna jump down this, uh, ledge. Avatar to Fortnite? That's dope. And we're gonna hop in here. And this, I think, is extremely lame. We'll see that the other two birds are in their locations from Gen 1 and they have proper dungeons and stuff. And Moltres is literally just in a cavern here. Like, it's not really much better than Gen 1, to be honest with you. Which is kind of a shame. Like, I was hoping we were going to get an actual thing for it. Moltres is actually really cool in a different way. But we'll have to wait until next time for that. Alright, let's see if we can snag you in a timely manner. I do wonder what the catch chance of this. Yeah, I suppose. It's, uh, it's place on, uh, one island and fire red and leaf green is really cool. I guess a proper dungeon. That's true, Moltres is on fire. That's gotta be painful. We run out of level balls, I'm gonna reset. I am gonna go into a tad bit of Stelmo over time. 
because uh, I want to try this thing that Cosmic sent me in the in terms of the secret. But after the secret, we're going to be done for the day. And then next time, we are going to catch the final two legendary birds. And then I believe that's it for all of the uh, scaled legendaries. So the three legendary dogs are not scaled. They're level 40, so we don't have the times eight chance with the level ball. And then... Um, Celebi might be scaled, but I think at that point, when we're doing the Celebi quest, because there's like a whole quest to get Celebi in this, I think while we're doing that, uh, I'll have more than enough tools. It's just nice right now to get a lot of these legendary catches out of the way. Update extended? Uh, I don't know if Andrelis is still working on PO6 extended. It might be stuck in silver release. You missed the boost? I miss cheating too. Reset, ran out level balls. Try again. Yeah, I only microdose. <laughs> you love it when sock games? Sock games? What? What? Come on, man. We got Lugia and like, or sorry, XD001 and like three level balls. By being so stingy, Moltres. Yeah, it's too bad the running on water part is only good for like Wave Ocean and kind of Kingdom Valley. It's a cool mod, and uh, it had some tools that I wish we still had, but who knows? Maybe I can convince the X-Man to put some proper speedrunning tools into EO6, like Speedometer. And I I actually do want to talk to him about integrating a speedrun timer into the game. See the boost tweet? No. I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> well, I'm on Twitter as a creator. Yes, we actually watched the boss tweet uh, earlier this stream. I might put it just because uh, it's actually a substantial amount of stuff. If people want to see the reaction, I'll put it on there. But I don't know. I didn't really give much reaction. I just think it's really cool. I think he's doing a great job. The Iblis looks great. The arena looks great. Still kind of looks slow, but I would imagine... He's doing stuff with it. I'm surprised he posted anything at all, considering the element of surprise he likes to do. Yeah, that was pretty much the only thing, is that what sucks about Iblis in all of his boss fights is he's not aggressive enough, but... What I imagine he showed is the attacks working. <laughs> was kind of just the main thing. Also, the boss flashing white when you hit it is is pretty cool. I, I dig it. Oh, I forgot to false swipe Moltres. I mean, <laughs> oops. A lot of bosses in Sonic games would benefit if they didn't play the waiting game. I just think when it comes to a Sonic boss, I think the boss being like a minute long is like a good time for the boss to be.
I don't know if those cycle skips were intentional, though. I mean, they must have been. They're pretty easy to do in playtesting, so... Come on, damn it. Of course, of course the last one. The last one I'm trying to catch is being stingy. <laughs> Unleash bosses, if we're talking... That is true, Chad Gohan. That's true. They're legendary versions. I mean, the daytime Unleash bosses aren't really that great either. I definitely believe that the best bosses to come out of Sonic are 100% the Generations bosses. Other than Egg Dragoon and Time Eater. All the other bosses are good. Pretty low bar. <laughs> I guess it's something. Come on! Moltres! My man! Get in the ball! <laughs> I have a times 8 catch rate with this ball. What's wrong with Egg Dragoon? The Egg Dragoon fight in Generations is really, like, buggy. I don't know if it's just the PC port or something, because it's been so long since i played it on console, but it, like... Sometimes your hits just don't register, or, like, the boss, like, freaks out, stuff pops in. Oh, like, the jump panels have pop- bad popping and stuff. I think it was just unoptimized for PC port. Which is, I would imagine, how most people that are yapping on the internet play Generations. Well, I think making bosses, like, I think a boss being a minute long, like, that's still a, a decent challenge, I feel. I don't know, man. We might have to save Moltres for tomorrow. We do have the, uh, fly point to Mount Silver. But I almost feel bad ending without catching Moltres. Boss fight should be like as long as you make it. I don't think that's a, from a designer perspective, that's a good mentality to have. <laughs> I'm talking about like your average playthrough. It should be like a minute long. For a Sonic game, fast out bosses. The light speed omelet. Light speed omelet. What does that mean? Oh my goodness! Moltres! Get in the damn ball! I'm really not doing anything, I'm just holding the A button right now. Come on, man. Times eight chance. Times eight catch rate. One HP. Oh yeah, that's right. The light speed attack is super useless in uh, Adventure 2. I don't think it. I don't think it does double damage or anything. It would have been cool if it retained its double damage from, uh, SA1. You can only use it on one boss and- oh. Maybe it only does double damage to Chaos 6. This is the one right here. Calling it. Damn it! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be cool. All right, I got five more minutes, and then we're gonna end with the secret encounter. So I might come back, and if we don't catch Moltres now, I'm gonna come back and catch it later. Uh, well, I'm gonna come back and catch it tomorrow. Um, 
but uh, I, I do want to end with a secret encounter. And the secret encounter, like I said back when we caught Pika Blue, any secret encounter, uh, anything that's deemed a secret encounter, which is like, you have to do a weird thing, click on a weird tile in the game or something like that. Like, that's what's uh, regarded as a secret encounter. Um, you can catch it 100% with a Pokeball. Throw a Pokeball at it, so... No matter what uh, we find in this thing. I'm interested to see what it is. Come on, baby. <sighs> I gotta cut the grass, Mole Trace. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Delmo Overtime. Are oh, you before you left? All right, I'll take a look. so I can see it better. Yeah! Nice! Oh, I love how this looks, man. Thank you so much. This is exciting. I'll be ex uh, definitely super excited to show this off tomorrow. It's so dope. Did you alter the fishing or the sword sprite? Hey! Moltres, we got him. Appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you for doing that. That's gonna make the run through a little bit cooler. Very slightly. Nice. Oh, I also forgot to get the sword. I was gonna do that today. Oh, that's fine. All right, let's go see what this is about. So we're going to not use waterfall. Why is fly? Does it depend on where it is in the move set? So if I swap this, <laughs> that's so silly. I didn't know that. Um, we want to go to Azalea Town. It's currently daytime, so we're going to have to reset the clock to night. A nice thing, so I talked about in the options, uh, that you can change where you continue from. So you can either immediately go into the game, like I have right now. You can watch the entire intro, or you can start at the title screen. Um, but there's also button combinations when you soft reset. So if I soft reset and hold, reset and hold start, whoops, not start. It's select. Uh, it's gonna start us at this screen, which is nice. So I'm gonna just reset the clock. And, oh god, this is not correct. Not correct time. But it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So, I'm going to do one more secret encounter, and then, uh, we're gonna be out of here. So, what I need to do, from what I was instructed, is I need to move some Pokemon around. Still playing 2.0? Wow. I, like, just got into Crystal Clear, so... Uh, we're gonna get rid of... XD001 for a moment. We're also going to get rid of... Um... Pigmas. And then, uh... We're gonna get rid of, um... We're gonna get rid of Bulby for the moment. We don't need it. The date after that had some questionable changes? Like, what? All right, so we need these three. We need them in this order. Got that. And we're gonna go back into Al Forest. I did buy super repels, so... Well, I guess I won't be repelling anything. That kind of sucks. I wonder if it's okay if I move my party around. Find out. Or else this is going to be very annoying.
this way. Up this way. And then what I need to do is I need to have them in this order. And then save. I am kind of scared for what's about to happen. And then talk to the sign. Oh, it's an unknown. That's funny. Of course, it's on the sign. B? Okay. <laughs> What's the... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get the reference. <laughs> it's cool, though. I guess I can maybe look at the moveset. Maybe there's something the moveset will tell me. GSC... E. Neat little secret encounter, nonetheless, though. Kind of a fun way to find it. So you need G, S, and C, and then you need to have them in uh, slot one, slot two, slot three. Kind of neat. All right, let's uh, get our party back and reorganize real quick. Let's look at the stats, maybe? Oh, kind of just looks... Hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> if, the, if there's a joke, I don't understand. <laughs> but I feel bad. I guess maybe if I had read that sign beforehand... Did you get Kenya? Yeah, I got Kenya. But I already, uh... I'm, I'm using XD001 as my HM friend and he has Fly, so... Alright, here's our party. Let's go ahead and put... Okie dokie. Go ahead and have Bulby as our follower. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed day one of Crystal Clear. I'm excited to continue to play this. Tomorrow, we're going to be catching some more legendary birds, and <laughs> after collecting the legendary birds, we're going to fight our first Pokemon gym. I'm excited to see the team coming together. We did a whole shiny hunt this stream, too, which is pretty crazy. Um, but regardless, thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see, t see you tomorrow with a custom sprite. Peace!